Um, so in regards to the souls, like, yeah, they, uh, think of like all of Barovia being like a spectral prison. Like they can't leave the gate or the mist really is what it is. Uh, so was the, the Ravens, right? Uh, or no, that that's everybody in Barovia. Their their souls are trapped there. Uh, all right, hold on a second. I'm setting everything up. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, like, so the souls can't leave the the mists of Barovia. Like, even as a spectral thing, you know what I mean. Uh, as far as coming back into people, um, I hmm, trying to think of what what you guys know already exactly. Souls definitely can come back. So, uh, so we know people are husked. Yes. But we don't... You don't know why so many are husked compared to... Right, okay. Yeah. If that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to remember. I don't recall there being a direct... Or at least for what we know... There being a direct correlation to husk and trap souls. I don't think we were told anything about that yet. We were just told that there are husks and souls can't leave. some groceries i just came back so i'm trying to <laughs> hurry up and get everything together <laughs> no it's okay yeah zard was actually rebuilding his computer in his room so he like walked by and i'm like you computer now <laughs> oh god rc is head of all initiative oh geez mm -hmm. oh geez i I did not watch the end of RC's situation. I see initiative and I see an attack. <laughs> that can't be good. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't mention about running into anybody attack was to me, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, if he, I'm going to say right now for preference, as soon as Haley gets to her room, she is puking up her guts and then she's going to go find RC. That is her goal. Fair enough, okay. <laughs> uh, she don't know if the food's been poisoned or possibly, um, you know, made to make her fall asleep. And she's like, I am not sleeping in this fucking castle. Fuck that! Very true. <laughs> we had a plan. None of the plans has changed. Did we have a plan? I don't know if we did. We went to dinner, and then we were supposed to go back to the village, but at least that's what I thought the plan was. I don't think we ever actually discussed the plan. We just nope. didn't go there. <laughs> we just went. <laughs> we probably should work on that. We should. Overall. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of... That is kind of a good point, like... I really don't remember... I mean, there's things we want to do and things we talked about, but I don't remember anything... like, explicit that we said, we're going to we're gonna go there and then come back.
Zard keeps tiptoeing past me as if I'm about to bite his head off. Uh oh. Okay. I think we're all up and running. We're just waiting on. Uh... Are you cutting now? Or are you stopping on purpose? Uh, it might be a bit of both. Okay. But it keeps happening at like the appropriate part of a sentence. I'm like, okay. But I feel like there's more. I also turned down the sensitivity on my mic, so. Because I noticed I was peeking quite a bit during the stream. Yeah, I kept hearing like little noises in the background on my side, and I was like, well, I'm just going to turn and push the talk on because it's super annoying for everybody, I'm pretty sure. So I'm still trying to perfect the art of push to talk. I haven't got it down yet, as you can tell by last session. I had to turn off my air conditioner so I don't have my, uh, yeah, my filter set up anymore. I used to have like all the fucking set up or like. Add noise cancellation and everything. Oh, nice. But it, I lost all that. So I was trying to use like a, a voice changer before with my other female character, but it's just, it's way too hard to like get consistent mic quality. Yeah, I feel that. Any, anything that goes between like the mic and the computers makes things difficult, <laughs> seems like. It would also get weird as I like have, um, because I used to stream. I used to stream uh, lucrative quest before Randy started doing it, and like my audio on the stream would be different than my audio on the Discord, oh. and so it was just this constant like battle of. I said, you know what? I just do push talk, try to keep everything quiet around me, be good to go. Yeah, I noticed everybody else in the, the Discord uses uh, push to talk for the most part, so it's not a bad idea. <laughs> I generally use it for like all of Discord, any gaming that I'm doing, I use push to talk. Oh yeah, I remember him saying he was gonna take a nap to get ready for the games. I set an alarm, so it's probably what it was. <laughs> so. Uh, well, welcome everybody to the stream. We're waiting on a couple more people and we're going to get started. Uh, uh, I did want to mention I, I did change up a lot of my uh, scenery and stuff. And those are all courtesy of uh, James RPG Art on Patreon. So if you like the cool animated artwork, you can go check them out over there on Patreon. Pretty good work. Oh, you put the letter into there too. Nice. What's that? You put the letter into the journal. I see that. 
Oh, I'm yeah. assuming that everyone got their own letters. Yep, they did. <laughs> Except That's RC. Cool. RC did not because <laughs> he never. He didn't go to the dinner, yeah. so. But that's okay. Oh, God. I forgot entirely what that letter said. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, Zard. Yes, it is. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. No, but it tickled the right funny bone and I needed it. <laughs> Says the man who was scooping out potato salad. Says the girl who couldn't find a cup on her own desk. <laughs> Stuff on my desk, okay? Bright red cup on her own desk. If you guys hear the sounds of someone being murdered or screaming because he suddenly lost internet, I'm sorry. It's understandable. Oh, that's cool. So I'm looking at all the uh, scenes. Oh yeah, the I went. I subscribed to his uh, Patreon. He does some pretty cool stuff with all that. Some of them were too big to uh, like. I'll share one in the Discord right now for Ravenloft. So he does that specific, that like Ravenloft or that like campaign specific ones or something. Hey, that dining hall has a fireplace. I was going to say, that, that, that picture is incorrect. That is a lie. I see is black, so... It's in the journal. All the oh. scenes. That's super cool. That tells me you must be hitting the right things if someone made pictures of these things from Raven. I from mean, Strahd. the run module's technically been around for like, oh, I don't know, a while? So, I'm sure there have been plenty of people that have been so bored, or, well, opposite, so inspired that they've made pictures for it. I will admit, when I was younger, I was, um, a bit of an art enthusiast. Art enthusiast. I, I, no, when I say that, I mean as in, um... I had a bunch of DD characters and I uh, stopped and made pictures for them all. I, I, I drew them. Zard, as I said, you say you were an art enthusiast. I know you are still an art enthusiast. Yes, but I don't draw each individual picture of my character anymore. Oh, you go and find them on the internet and then you make them yours. Modifying them slightly, sometimes just taking out the background, other times, you know, with the case of one particular character happened to change the hair color, just, like I said, modify. Well, we're still missing a person. Means I have time for another episode of Star Trek Lower Decks. <laughs> Wait, who's who's Escher? Uh, is, that, is that the elf? You guys actually haven't met him yet. I know that oh, handout yeah. shows him too, but I don't even really know who he is to be honest with you. I didn't mess with him last time I ran through this. I, I can't roughly know what he is, but perfect. <laughs>
I don't remember the name of the one that was coming to beat me. I want to say it was Anastasia. One at the table closest to work in. Don't worry, guys. I have a plan to make our dramatic escape. We'll gather the bed sheets together, and I'll cobble together a balloon, and we'll fly from the castle. No? Okay. I don't gotta escape anything. So far. It's true. Kind of sit. <laughs> Zard, my response is in the Ravenloft chat. Uh, so, I don't know if if uh, Morkin's going to join or not, I can't get a hold of him. Uh, he, I think he will probably, like, I think he's just taking a nap. He'll probably wake up, like, partway through. Do you guys want to go ahead and, and start and stuff, or do you want to wait around for him? I'm waiting a little bit. I'm, um, I'm technically eating a salad. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he has a pretty important thing to do tonight. That is true. That's what I was hoping. He, I I talked to him earlier. He... Maybe we give it a little bit longer, and then maybe we could do whatever's happening with Zard and Haley, or Zard and then Haley, and then we can do me or whatever order. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh... That's a good idea. We'll go ahead uh, and do. We'll we'll wait a couple minutes, a couple more minutes, and then we'll. Uh, I'm gonna start with Zard first because he's kind of in the deep end right now. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll we'll circle around because yeah, Cyrus is gonna show each of you to their to your room. So. Um. Is that that asshole snobby uh, uh, armored elf guy? Uh, what's that? Oh, the the rotting. Yeah, he's he's uh, from what you've gathered. Actually, RC doesn't really know. Just kind of met him in the hallway. <laughs> met him briefly, but I still. I mean, I obviously know what he looks like. He's a you know asshole, snob nosed, armored elf. That's true. He doesn't. Uh, you don't know what his purposes are here, but yeah, you you haven't seen him since since you. Past him. <laughs> Did we move on rest at any point? Uh, nope. No, just before. Or no, I don't think you even did before you came to the. Oh, we did. Thing. We did a short rest. Yeah. We all voted for short rest. Otherwise, it's going to be a late dinner. And we purposely did not take the long rest so it would not be a late dinner so we could leave at the end of dinner. <laughs> I'm wondering if I didn't long rest at some point. Because I have two of my forms of dread used. I mean, it doesn't matter, but... I just don't remember using two of them. It's long rested fast. We went and took care of the cultists, and then... So I, pop, I popped the form of dread there. Okay. Um... I don't know where the other one came from. It's fine. I got one more, so... Plus, if we got a fight here anyways, it's probably not going to go well, so... Yeah. I, I don't think we're going to get into a fight unless we have to, like, literally, like, fight RC ourselves. I don't know, maybe the vampire would like the form of dread for the, the bedroom. <laughs> she might be into that. A little freaky. <laughs> Um, Did you do it as a form of intimidation to her? Could I? I mean, did you? at Like, at the dinner table, I mean? Oh, no. Okay. No, I wasn't intimidating anything. I was being super cordial. <laughs> a little provocative, but a cordial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Our... It was just being straight Valkyrie from... Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> Drinking booze and not giving a shit. I mean, it, it's not, it is not Borkin and Haley's scene for sure. <laughs> that's not, that's not where they go. Uh -uh. 
So, uh, RC, have you ever looked into the rules of turning a Warforged into a vampire? Bring it back, by the way. What the hell? Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have not. Uh, but from that comment, I'm assuming you might have. I have not either. That's why I'm curious about it. Okay. I was just not thinking about it. <laughs> well, um, to answer your question, I will simply point to if my character sheet will load. Load. Load! Uh. Okay, well, when it does finally load, there's a specific... Oh, there it goes. Thank you. Why am I on spells? Don't leave it on spells. Ah! Weird-ass mother humping... Okay, anyway. There. Construct resilience. Okay. Technically, vampirism is, is a disease. I am immune to disease. So, therefore, ergo, because I am a construct, technically, I can't be made into a vampire. Think about it. I'm all metal and wood. How the hell are you going to turn that into a vampire? Well, you see, that's the weird thing, because vampirism in this campaign is a curse. <laughs> so that's, you know what I mean? Mm. If you look deeper into it, it is technically a disease. Yeah, but... How else do you think it can be cured by things like... I mean, it, okay, it's technically considered a magical disease, if you want to get really, really technical. I think it's a curse. You gotta remove yeah. curse it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it is a magical more. disease because it is a magical disease, which is a curse. It can still be, you know, contracted like a regular disease, but because it's magical, it can't be easily gotten rid of. Hence, why you kind of need things like remove curse to get rid of it. Okay. Uh, Just curious. First Google, first Google result: is Vampirism is not a disease or curse; it's a form of death. Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's face it. Honestly, if you were to ask anybody, most dungeon masters would tell you. Player goes, "Oh, hey, I want to go collect, uh, uh, get, get get myself a uh, uh, vampirism. Why? So I get cool vampire powers. Cool. You get bit. Seven days later, you 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 turn full vampire after a slow, painful conversion. Give me your character sheet. Why? Because now it's an NPC." Mr. Crawford says, being a vampire is neither a curse nor disease in the rules. It's simply your new dark existence. Hmm. I hope you like the taste of blood. From a story point of view, sure. You're talking Zard? about somebody who has unfortunately been through more Zard, additions than I care quit to Quit arguing. Quit I'm arguing, the... Zard. Hey. I'm the... arguing with the non-Dungeon Master right now. Leave me alone. The, the rule writer of D&D says it's not in the rules. Wow, that is a Oxymoron, if I ever heard it. <laughs> He's the one that writes it. Therefore, it's He's like, rules of rules. Okay, you know what? Fine. There is something that has been published that we can look at. Where's oh, my God. Grim Hollow book? He said, ah, vampires, that's too complicated. I'll just leave that out. I'll figure it out. Right? <laughs> I have a copy of Grim Hollow around here somewhere. Give me a second. Well, it in uh in um Van Richten's Dread Ravenloft, they do they are experimenting with the idea of like you change your race and you lose your racial stuff and you become a new race. Obviously it's a bit harder with the Warforged, but like you may become a vampire, you can become a vampire. You can be an elf and become one. You can be an elf and become the undead version of whatever they're called. Very oh, true. Okay. And you lose you lose all your racials of your original race, and you become the new racials of the other race. So when you say that, though, all I picture in my head is that episode from Futurama where Bender gets bitten and he turns into this uh, vampire car or wear car every full moon. That's all that comes in my head. You start talking about, oh yeah, my Warforged can, can contract vampirism. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. That'd be like lichen therapy. Like that'd be like a transformer, pretty much. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um. So I don't know if he's gonna show up right now or not. We'll just go ahead and uh, 
start off with you, RC. We'll figure that out later. I was just messing are with we, you. Are we missing somebody? Uh, yeah. Borkin. Ah, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Need yeah. him and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, well, I'm just going to go through one at a time. I mean, for you other guys, that's Zard or RC, uh, <clears throat> you guys were all just being escorted to your rooms by, by Cyrus right now. Um, so that RC, you, um, left off after taking out a very menacing looking mannequin. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. What what does RC do from, from here? You mean mildly, de- you know, uh, regretting several life decisions? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I can't find it right now, but I'll get, uh, I'll, I'll find it later. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the Grim Hollow book was an actual published book that's uh, supported by Wizards of the Coast, though not by Venture League, uh, does actually talk about, you know, Grim Prison and whatnot. But, you know, on to other things. Uh, so, I'm assuming this whole jump scare routine would not have been needed if it wasn't important for some reason or another. So, uh, obviously... I'm going to check the door that I spent this entire time trying to walk to. Okay. It's locked. Um, so, it is... Uh, no, it is not locked. Damn, the security of this place is just lax and horrible. <laughs> Can you imagine being a guard in this place? So, I'm supposed to guard this entire castle with no locked doors. Yep. Good luck with that. Wow. Worst job ever. (laughs) Do you go ahead and open that door? I will knock twice politely before I do. Okay, you receive no response as you knock. Okay. I just want to take a quick look, because... Me, the player, very nervous. Getting very nervous. My character, obviously, literally cannot sweat, so. Okay. <laughs> Good point. Yes, drop of oil. Oh my god, he's sweating. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, yeah, open door, look inside. Okay. So, um, as you peek inside, uh, the, the, these are two, uh, like, really... Pretty big uh, stone doors, that, and they kind of lead to the outside. Stone doors. Yes. Uh, as you open one up a little to look inside, um, you see uh, a sculpted stone railing that encloses this balcony, which overlooks Ravenloft's chapel. Uh, two ornate thrones stand side by side in the center of the balcony, covered with dust and strung with cobwebs. The thrones face away from the double doors that give access to the balcony. Okay, and this balcony you said overlooks a church. Uh, I'm assuming Drick below it is like a small courtyard of some kind? Yes. Cool, good to know. That is a form of like, you know, access that is notable. All right. It's also probably where, you know, like, king and queen would sit and go like, oh, love us and adore us. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it does have a, you see the balcony right there in front of you, and then it does have uh, two walkways that lead to the left and right sides kind of leading off. Okay. Uh, curse my curiosity. All right, I am going to look carefully and see where these walkways go to. You can make a perception check for me. Okay. Okay, uh, 
Yeah, you see, as you're walking up, you swear you've seen something move on one of, in, like, these these thrones, or, like, the seats there are facing away from you. You swear you've seen, like, a hand or something move as you're approaching. Yeah. <coughs> After Mr. Funny Man Strahd's little ha-ha-ha, I'm not taking any chances of, uh, Accidentally uh, triggering any more of his ha 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 ha. That was so funny <laughs> happening. So just going to politely and quietly close door. Knowing how much access is available, what is locked and unlocked, and where it leads is all part of important information to know. Because okay. let's say, for example, later, you know, we're running from a village of angry mob with pitchforks and torches. Knowing where we can run and where is safety and where is not is important to know. Yeah, definitely good Good to know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what, what do you get from here, then? Uh, I think I'm going to head back towards that secret staircase thing that I was eyeballing the last time. Okay. And so the whole little... I do remember last time I told you that, that it goes down. It actually goes up. I, I looked at it. No, no, you, you, you corrected yourself. I did. Okay. The last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Good deal. You also told me that it went past, like, um, uh, uh, a secret access to the, the uh, a bedroom of some kind, which I don't personally know this, but RC would find out later that it belongs to the... the Little vamp misses. But, you know, it's a bed chamber. Do I need explanation? Somebody sleeps there. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> uh, so you did close that. Uh, did you, you want to go back over there to. I assume you, you want to open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All Quietly, right. I, again, you know, I'm not trying to, like, be, well, like, massively, you know, I'm not trying to be a noisy F, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Uh, so, as you walk by that room, you hear the light sounds of humming coming, and you, see, you do see the shadow under the doorway keep kind of flowing back and forth. Is it the same humming from before, or a different hum? Uh, it's like a different song. It's it's the same voice, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, it, if it's the same maid, I have nothing to worry about. If, if it's a new, uh, you know, hum, as it were, then I have something to be concerned about. Okay. So, if she's still, like, you know, diddling about cleaning and, you know, dancing about, that's, I mean, hey, I'm not going to mock her, honestly. <laughs> that's how she gets her work done, you know, sing a song while you work deal? Go for it. All yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you heading up the stairs then? Um, you can make me a... Uh, well, oh, yeah, you can make me a, a perception check as you're heading up the stairs. Was that 15 for that one? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as you were walking by, you noticed another secret doorway uh, on the other side of the hall there. Good God, how many other things are there? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's a castle. <laughs> Anybody who's ever watched any movie about a castle and seen Secret Passage Villages has probably thought to themselves, God, I'd love to live in a castle and finally the Secret Passageways. I should remind you, it was not as common as you think. <laughs> Mind you, in the you know game of Strahd, get it? <laughs> that is funny. Game of Strahd. It's probably lots of these. <laughs> All right. So as before, I'm going to uh, uh, listen carefully. See if there's any like activity on the other side of this one. 
Okay, there, there's no response as you knock and the, the door is not trapped. Who says I knock? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I am in a secret passageway. You do not announce yourself coming out of a secret passageway. That is death. That is death. Okay. Like I said, I'm doing the same thing I did with the passageway to the bedroom. Looking through the crack, the little peephole to see what's out there. Okay, so this is another like uh, push open door. Like there's no peephole in this one, but uh, you could like probably just slightly push it. Uh, as you look through, it's just a, a corridor. You, you don't see any like activity going on. No side. See, if I was an asshole mage, I'd take my, my familiar, shove it through, and go, I'll tell you what you see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dad, what the? Come on! Tell me! <laughs> yeah, anyway. Familiars, disposable spies, right? Pretty much. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, yeah, he's just going to peek in and see what he sees. I think I see stairwell. Yes. Yeah, so this uh, long, narrow corridor runs east to west, and cobwebs fill the hall, obstructing the sight, your sight beyond a few Okay. Okay. Good to know. Not someplace I want to play with at the moment. But it looks like a weird circle thing, which possibly might be steps and stairs, so we'll just go with it. Just from a rough guess, does it look like it heads up or down? You can't really tell. Like the, the spider webs are, or the cobwebs are really thick, so like you can only see. David. All right. Um, so this does not look like it's part of the secrets passageway shit. This is more like regular passageway, just not used. Uh, no, it seems like. Well, that was a full cutout. It seems like a like an access corridor, like a. Like a maintenance corridor or something like that. Oh, um, uh, there's a word for it. Shit, I'll think of it. Hold on. Um, 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 uh, uh, olden day term. Passage. Thank you. Yes. Basically, since you know the servants weren't allowed to walk and mingle in, in the same corridors as the nobles, they were required to take the servants' paths which were normal standard everyday paths just set aside for just the servants, usually smaller, dimly lit, you know, not as furnished, obviously. It was just, you know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry, did you, did you like step over towards the stairs when you asked if they go up or down? No, I was just okay. literally peeking my head out the door and looking over that way. Okay, that's what I was saying. I, was, I wasn't positive. <laughs> yeah, no, um... However, just for future reference sake, I will, with my head out the door, just kind of lean down, and I'm going to take out my thieves' tools, and I'm going to check for traps. Because this smells like a trap. Okay, you can roll a investigation check with disadvantage. Oh, right, cobwebs. Why, Will Wheaton? Why? Look at that other roll! <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't see any traps uh, around. It, it looks like this place hasn't been used in a long time, and if if there was a trap, then it's it's uh it might not even be good anymore. <laughs> I mean, considering the cobwebs and you know some traps use rope instead of chain. I mean, honestly, I've been mildly concerned that this push door doesn't get stuck. On you know, yeah. the reason my tinker tool set comes with a can of oil. <laughs> That's a good question. Do you still have your torch light? <laughs> uh, when did I have a torch lit? You lit it up in that uh, last room you're in where you fought the mannequin. Did I? Did it. it was like super dark, and you're like, I'm just gonna light a torch. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, as soon as I got back to a place that was lit enough again, I would have put that back out again. Okay. Yeah, any place that there is light, even a little, I'm just going to use that, because, you know, 
I don't know about no, but no, nobody else, but you know, during the uh, Second World War, anybody that lit a cigarette was a prime target for being shot. So, good point. Cigarettes were almost illegal in the trenches. Let me tell you. There's a reason it took three men just to light one cigarette. Yeah. No, 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 no serious. It, it, you know, two of them would block uh. the sight from uh, of the flame being lit, and the other one would get light a cigarette. Three people light a cigarette. I'm not kidding. Yeah. So, uh, so what does RC? Uh, what, what does RC do from from here? I am leaving that shit alone. Uh, obviously, the lack of usage of this passageway tells me that there's very few, if at all, any servants in this castle, and they likely do not use this, which means not important. Uh, it, important for me to know because that could tell us someplace that you know we may need to check out. Because you know, servant passageways often le uh, led to several of the major rooms as a way of easy access. So, if we, again, you know, crowd of angry mob, pitchforks and torches might be a good thing to retreat into. Yeah. All right. So anyway, back to uh, original. Oh God, I left the cat behind. Come here, cat. Here we go. I don't have vision on the cat, so okay. when I move too far and I don't click on the cat, I lose the cat. I'm like, oh god, I've lost the cat. <laughs> okay, so you're you're going up the stairs. Yeah. Can you shift ping me? I I can't find myself. Yeah, I haven't put you on the map yet. I'm trying to see exactly. Where. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where that leads to. Uh, also, number is on. Oh, shit. Uh... There we go. Oh, dear Lord Almighty, where the hell am I? Uh, uh, where did I come up? Uh, I'm gonna find it. I was gonna say that this is already a lot. I mean, like this is this is already a lot. I'm a little nervous. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Where did I come in? I'm right. already having several questions of like, oh god. I got a bunch of tabs open. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, uh, consolidate, man. Consolidate. <laughs> yeah, I got to like. Close them and open them back and forth. <laughs> okay. They have group tabbing. You can actually group tabs together. So you're like, okay, this is now, this is later, this is NPC. Yeah. I haven't used that feature, honestly, myself personally, so I can't say anything towards it. I just know it's an option that is there. I'll have to look into that. I never tried that one. Uh, so, yeah. okay. So, dark alcoves line the walls of this long hall. The ceiling has fallen here, leaving rubble strewn across the floor. Overhead, the beams of Ravenloft's roofs are exposed, and lightning from the dark clouds above sporadically illuminates the hall, uh, light, lighting the faces of life-sized human statues in alcoves. Each visage is frozen in terror, and rain is seeping in slowly. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, by the way, I would have done this back to the... Um... Spider wall hallway, I would have taken my detect magic flashlight and just double checked that and double checking for sure all this shit for dang sure. For sure. Uh no, you don't detect any magic here. Uh every time the the lightning strikes though, you notice that the statues like expressions almost seems to like goes from like no expression at all to like a, a face of like absolute horror and then it'll go back to normal again 
That smells like trick of the light stuff. Did you know that it took them over five years to get the Lincoln statue right because of the light that would uh, uh, enter in that side of the uh, Lincoln Memorial? Hmm. Yep. So um, with with you here, RC, I'm going to cut over to the, the rest of the group to get them to okay. their rooms. We'll, we'll okay. come right back. <laughs> uh... I really need to change my push and talk button. <laughs> anyway, okay. Get it. I found one that works for me either. I use the batch button, but I just stay with the batch button on my mouse with other software. Hmm. I okay. just use, use either control or alt or shift or the left shift button, but I don't use that right now because my microphone is sensitive enough. I don't need to worry about sense to talk or push to talk. Mm, I should use like a shift button instead. It's just my default for most games. It doesn't really interfere with anything. Okay. Really quick, where leads you to? This was the the chef, cook, dude, servant. Yep, uh, his name was Cyrus. It's that's okay. So Cyrus uh, <clears throat> leads you all over after uh, Strahd has up and left uh, to. Uh, this set of stairs over here. And you guys begin to climb up here. And it leads you to Yeah, sorry, y'all. I took a nap, and uh, it was a really good nap. I decided to extend <laughs> itself into a sleep. <laughs> I've let's see here. I've done that. <laughs> actually, okay. he he actually leads you through a, a set of double doors here. Uh, here you see. Um, go ahead and read these out to you guys. Okay. See anything? I'm sad you. On my screen right now, real quick. Sorry to interrupt, but it's hilarious. Uh, Haley and Borkin's name are like interposed, so it just says "Hail Borkin." I wasn't gonna say it, but yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> Hail Borkin, <laughs> king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, you guys, uh, this grand hall is choked with dust and stretches into darkness ahead. Webs hang from the arched ceiling like drapes, and life-size statues of knights line the hallway on both sides. Their eyes seem to watch you. Uh, as you guys head through, you head back out into a courtyard, uh, back, or, sorry, a chapel. Uh, the dim colored light fills, uh, filters through the tall, broken, boarded-up windows of stained glass, illuminating the ancient chapel of Ravenloft. A few bats flutter about near the top of the 90-foot-high domed ceiling. A balcony runs the length of the west wall, 50 feet above the floor. In the center of the balcony, two dark shapes slumped in tall chairs. Benches coated with centuries of dust lie about the floor in jumbled disarray. Beyond this debris, lit by a piercing shaft of light, an altar stands upon a stone platform. The sides of the altar are carved with uh, bas reliefs of angelic figures entwined with grapevines. The light from above falls directly onto a silver statuette. Or statuette. A cloaked figure is draped over the altar 
and a black mace lies on the floor near his feet. Uh, and he continues on, and uh, to this room here. We're being led by Strahd? Uh, no, by Cyrus, the uh, servant slash cook slash handyman. <laughs> yeah, the guy in the night, the uppity one. Yeah. No. No, uh, no, not that guy. The uh, the bear dog looking guy. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, okay. The the Grinch over here. Gray Grinch. <laughs> um Man, this castle is complicated. <laughs> okay, uh so this staircase is made of old wood that strains underfoot, creaking and groaning. And they climb up to the As as we're walking through, can I uh, can I like perception check to see what those figures are? Sure, you can go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna ask that too. So I'll just uh, I'll aid him. I don't know what your perception is. Plus four. Yeah, I'm fine with aiding you. Mine's the same. Okay. Well, that was almost a twenty. Wait, what? Why is that? Yeah, okay, 14. Okay. Um, so. Uh, so the. Um, th so the figure that was slumped on the altar uh, looks like the remains of a uh, cleric. Um, but like, super dead. Super dead. Uh, yeah, he does look like he's... Uh, You do see the, the mace that lies on the floor near his feet, and uh looks like he's holding something in his hand. But you can't tell from this distance what, what it is. Can Borkin just be like, oh wait, no, we're not allowed to take anything from the castle, right? That was one of the things. Uh, he just said you're free to roam about at your leisure. Uh, after Cyrus leads you to, to your rooms, he says just stay out of the, the lower areas of the I thought one of the one of the things was that we're not allowed to take anything from here. Because if nope. that's not one of the things, then while we're doing that, I'm gonna be like, oh, or, hold on one second, and just walk up to the <laughs> to the thing and okay. just like look at it and be like, what happened here? Hold on, I said hold on. <laughs> Cyrus turns around. He's like, shouldn't touch master's things. Those are his things. You can mess this go dead people as things. It's uh, weird. Master what the has, fuck? has many collections about the castle. Um, I want to look closer at what he's got in his hands. Okay. Uh, see, I got the space bar as my push to talk button, and every time it scrolls to the bottom. <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with right now. Yeah, <laughs> mine was the uh, was like a a key that I never use, uh, but it would just keep leaving dots across the whole screen whenever I was like in any type bar. But a uh, shift was a good idea. It's been yeah. working really nice. Um, hand out for this.
So that is what you see clutched in his hand. It's like a small figurine of a of a man, like crouched as though he's praying. I like look at it. And I like look at all around, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know what the fuck this is. And just grab it and walk up to uh, <laughs> to Elizabetta. You know what this is. <laughs> what what's your alignment, Borkin? Oh boy. Oh, my alignment is a uh, chaotic neutral, I believe. Oh, chaotic good. Okay. So uh, what do you do, uh, Lisa Beta? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I want to investigate it. I have no idea what it is. Okay. What's uh, what's your alignment? <laughs> chaotic good. <laughs> Haley is also chaotic good and is looking at you both very like put that down. <laughs> but we used to be chaotic good. <laughs> I was about to say at one point in time we were chaotic good. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows, who knows what's happening now? Oh uh, shit. Well, there we go. Uh also I probably should have told you guys this uh, <laughs> Before we started this, I have a predilection for picking up cursed items <laughs> and putting them on. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's all right, because uh, Haley's is picking things up and absently fiddling with them and then sometimes accidentally breaking them. <laughs> yeah, so the only thing you can really tell about this thing is uh, it is a 12-inch tall statue statuette of, uh, made of uh, the purest silver, and it weighs about 10 pounds. It picks a cleric kneeling in supplication. Is there any chance I can uh, a religion check it with my religious background? You sure can. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, as you're, you're thinking about it, uh, you... Uh, You you think you've heard about this before? Uh, it belonged to the archpriest Serial uh, Romalic Romalich. Um, as far as what it does, uh, you remember something about it that's like uh, you know it, it wards off evil. You did a pretty shitty job at it. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's about what you know. You, you're kind of it does kind of make you confused as to why it's sitting in a vampire's <laughs> castle. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know, Borkin. Got a bad least, feeling about this. At least it's silver, right? You can use it to make other stuff, even if it's shitty as a talisman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's something you should want to smoke down. Uh, so you want me to leave it here then? Probably a good idea. Since you were just told, don't touch the masters. And she's saying it with air quotes. <laughs> Things. Yeah, is this dude staring at us right now as we're doing this? He is 100% staring at you and shaking his head. <laughs> yeah. he's, not, he's not doing anything All about right. it. Uh, shit, all right, then just throws it over his shoulder and carries on walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you hear it clank against the stone floor as you uh, continue on up the wooden stairs. Bucking his. Oh, I like it. I thought we could have made some arrows out of it, but it is cool, all right. <laughs> I thought it was going to get. It was really heavy. You would be, be surprised how heavy it was. It looked very heavy. Looked expensive. Could have used it to beat a vampire to death. Oh, I, he like kind of like crosses his mind for a second to go back and get it. He's like, "Oh no, can't go get it." They said, "I can't go get it." <laughs> so uh, this leads up to. Area.
Uh, over there. Okay. This is a lot more than I expected. Yeah. I thought we were going to drone down the hall into our rooms or something. Oh, wait. Yeah. Are you guys seeing stuff that's going on? Because I'm still no. just seeing black. Nope. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. just saying that in general. I was just like, oh, okay, I thought I wasn't missing out on anything. Now I think I'm missing out on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of tokens. Sorry, guys. It's almost it's like right. this is the, the boss's like, headquarters or something. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird okay. idea. It's, it's like intricate base. It's like later we'll have to come back and have to, you know, run around the whole thing like a dungeon crawl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, that never happened. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, as you guys head up the uh, old creaking stairs, uh, you come out into the uh, uh, a balcony that looks over the chapel, and uh, same thing as R.C. saw. Uh, you see a sculpted stone railing that encloses this long balcony, which overlooks... Ravenloft's chapel. Two ornate thrones stand side by side in the center of the balcony, covered with dust and strung with cobwebs. The thrones face away from the double doors that give access to the balcony. Don't, don't move out there. I can't see anything. Okay. There, there you go. Okay, I see you now. I guess I totally should have brought Cyrus. <laughs> so the chapel is like down here. It's looking out that way. Yes, it's like a balcony that looks over the chapel. Yeah. Were well, there two two corpses up here? You said before, or two figures. Um, not that you guys know, but the uh, RC thought he saw like a hand or something move. Uh, on one of the the thrones sitting there, but uh, he he shut the door and went around the other way. Uh, so uh, Fuzzball is gonna go over and sniff. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Curious pop. <laughs> Cyrus is heading on. Uh, like he's not paying any mind to what's going on. He's just kind of shaking his head after the last debacle. As Fuzzball walks up, uh, you can roll initiative. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> for 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 Fuzzball? Yes. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, let's see we all roll initiative. Uh, if you want to, yeah, yeah. If you, <laughs> you guys can just go ahead and all roll it. Okay. Um. Well, I just rolled just fuzzballs. So I'll roll mine too, I guess. I mean, you and fuzzball go on the same initiative. If yeah, we do. <laughs> I, I had rolled fuzzballs first, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although I'll take fuzzballs in this. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I think he rolled a 14, didn't, didn't she, for Fuzzball? Yeah, Fuzzball got a 14, but that was just the wolf's initiative. I just rolled that for... Because, you know, it's Fuzzball doing something. Haley's just standing there, like, about to call call her back. Uh, did you roll for Bandita as well, uh, Borkin? Um, I thought we would just go on the same one. Other than that, yeah, I'll roll for her right now. Okay. I mean, you, you guys can just go on the same one. That actually makes it. I just tried to Google search Bandita to find a dire wolf stats. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't work, if you were wondering. 
Okay. So, uh, with that, uh, okay, uh, yeah, so. So I have a 21 to hit for Buzzball, and I don't think a 9 hits. Uh, so the 21 it's AC. Is... Yeah, AC is 16, so yeah, it hits. Okay, so the, the 21 hits, that's uh, 2 piercing. And then another 21 uh, for 7 slashing. As two zombies slash over the the thrones at Fuzzball. Uh, she yelps. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you guys all see them now. They they've kind of crawled out from behind the, uh, the 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 thrones there. Haley kind of rolls her eyes and just like, ah, oh, shit. I immediately like leap into action, drawing my rapier, just like whistling to Bandita, get the left one. Okay. Uh, Lily's a little mad because she's wearing a dress and her armor, and is like, ah, "Gonna get blood on this thing." <laughs> He's like actively ripping his sleeves to get better movement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so with that, it'll be Elisa Betta's turn. Uh, Cyrus, right? Uh, yeah, Cyrus hasn't even really caught on to what's going on yet. <laughs> uh, I want to yell to Cyrus. Hey, what the shit is this? Told you not to touch Master's things, and he <laughs> kind of heads off and starts to head off towards the, the doors. <laughs> Do they look to be mobile? Yes, 100%. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Follow up with Cyrus for now. Okay. I'm going to stand right here. Uh, if... If like, they continue to be aggressive, I'm going to hold my action for an Eldritch Blast. Okay. And the next will be uh, Haley or Borkin. Who, who has the higher dex? Probably similar. Let's see here. Let's Haley's see. got a 17 dexterity. Yeah, I think Haley has got me. One second. Okay. Oh, no. I have an 18. Okay, so Borkin, it'll be your you and Bandita. All right, so I close the distance and I uh, immediately close on the one right in front of me, expecting Bandita to go around behind me and attack the other one that's next to Fuzzball. Okay, and I right. do a couple of couple of sword slashes slashes on him. Well, a sword slashy and a whippity. Okay. And you guys are worried about me getting into trouble. And sniffed it, okay? She didn't really, like, do quote-unquote anything. This is what happens when you have a curious wolf who's like, there's something there. I must sniff. 16 and then a nat 20 for the whip. Oh, yeah. Uh, those, those both hit, and obviously the crit hits. <laughs> So 
so. 20 damage. Yep, and that's on the closest one? Yeah. Okay. The uh, bloody. It's bloody. Hold on one second. I'm checking something real quick. I got. I'm not sure if I have the feet to do the full damage yet. So it might be minus eight damage off of that. And the shit isn't disappearing off the side of my screen, which is really annoying. Um, no, I don't think I have the... Uh, yeah, I don't have that, so I will attach um, uh, slayers to them instead of a taking. No, I can't. It's too late. Yeah, so it'll be minus 8 off of that 20, so 11, okay. or 12. Okay. So with that, uh, you see one of his arms fly off, his right arm flies off as you... Uh, slash into it with your whip and uh the other arm is hit with the whip of the uh sword so both of his arms come flying off and they they start to crawl around on the ground by themselves <laughs> uh i like look down for a second like <laughs> <laughs> and then bandito wanted to come up and attack the other one you said yeah okay You guys should be able to move your tokens, by the way. I don't know if you guys can or not. Okay, so a nine is going to hit. Honestly, I didn't even think about it. I was just like... <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. A nine does hit. Just going to roll again to see if I crit. Yeah. Okay. Right, they got to yeah. make a strength save of 13. Okay. Yeah, both of them are just the one. Uh, just the one. Okay. Uh, he got 18. All right. Well, then just 11 damage for him. So he grabs like his wrists and tries to yank him down to the ground. Okay. Um, as he grabs his wrist, uh, one of his arms fall off and is wiggling around and in Bandita's mouth. <laughs> Ew. And next will be Haley. She just starts shaking it like a dog in a tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuzzball's gonna go straight for the bite because it attacked her. <laughs> okay. Alright. And she has pack tactics, which Bandita should have had too for attacking. I rolled Bandita's a dire wolf. Uh, yeah. She still has different stuff. tactics. Yep. All right. Actually, they have the same two attacks as a wolf. Yeah. Okay, the uh, 23 hits. Sure. So that's a bite. Oh, did I roll the wrong one again? Nope, nope. That's the right one. Okay. Uh... That is nine. Oh, wait. Nope. That was the wrong one. Sorry. It's supposed to be 2d4 plus 2. Okay. I keep hitting the wrong button on the on the wolf thing. There it goes. That's the right one. Okay. Is that the... Which one is Buzzball going for there? Uh, the one that's right in front of her there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is that's the difference is that uh the direwolves bites two d six instead of two d four. So that one is bloody now, uh, and yeah. and uh, the zombie is uh as Bandita or uh, Fuzzball grabs onto that zombie, slashes it around, its head flies clean off from the body. <laughs> Uh, but it is still standing. <laughs> uh, that Haley, it will be your turn. 
right. Um, well, she saw her attack. That was just Haley. Yeah, command yeah, fuzzball. Just, yeah, f just that's the bonus action of. Well, it bit you. Attack it. You know. Yeah. Uh, so so now Haley's going to just shoot at it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a thirteen. Thirteen's gonna hit. All right. Um, and she is shooting at the same one that Fuzzball was going after, okay. and that is an eleven. Okay. Uh, uh, eleven to hit for that, or just the damage? That's the damage. Is the okay. eleven? Okay, it is still standing, and is. Uh, you shoot it right in the leg, and it it comes off. Uh, like you shoot right right at the hip area, and the leg falls off, and the body's just kind of hopping around on one foot, and with no head. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Haley's Haley's got one more attack. Um, okay. Because she she has that uh, two attacks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you guys love that. Your life. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, 18. Okay, 18 will hit. Woohoo! Oh, that reminds me. I had two attacks also. <laughs> yeah. The whip was my bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used the bonus on that one. I know that was kind of not, not in the rules, <laughs> but to have a bandit <laughs> attack. Yeah. But uh, yeah, right. that for me. yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be an eight. Okay, eight. Eight damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I could only have Bandita attack on a bonus action, right? Uh, an action, since it's or not. An action. Yeah. action, yeah, since it's not a beast master. Yeah, uh, but it makes it. So, <laughs> anyway, that zombie, uh, the, the body falls down as you shot that one, and uh, the head kind of shrivels up, and the the arm that Fuzzball had uh, is no longer shaking around. <laughs> uh, actually, Fuzzball knocked off the head. That one's dead. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, and with that, it is the other one's turn, and it's going to go for Borkin. Electric Blast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got the Electric Blast on it. That'll hit. Uh, and it's pushed back 10 feet. Yep, you knocked that one smooth off the balcony, and his body just splats in the the, the chapel floor below, across the pew. <laughs> and yeah, that is that. And uh, Haley, Haley's going to also grab her two arrows she just fired and pat Fuzzball in the head. Stop sniffing things, you crazy dog! <laughs> <laughs> Borkin like saw the zombie coming for him and he like had started to like posture up for a strike and just sees it blown over the edge and you know, looks back at Elizabeth and he just like gives a nod like oh hey this is a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh Cyrus turns around and he's like, like I said, please do not touch Master's things until we get you to your room. And Noted <laughs> Keep setting on uh and he takes you guys to well, kind of want to hang back and check this altar that those things were guarding. <laughs> okay, yeah, you. Uh, so they they weren't on an altar; they were just sitting in these thrones. There, they just seem like ordinary thrones. They're covered in cobwebs and dust, but other than that, just regular old chairs. Okay, gotcha. I'm like, there's fucking king zombies. Dead king zombies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just carry on. Okay. Uh, he leads you guys on. Looks like we lost Haley. And she's back.
I wasn't was worried. Weird. Yeah, that was weird. We lost internet for a second. Uh, okay. I legit thought we were going down the hall. We're getting like the whole tour here. Yeah, <laughs> it's up at the very yeah. top. <laughs> Oh, God, we're getting put in the tower tower. Okay. All right, there's awesome. They call me Rapunzel. Yeah, he leads you up pretty much the same place where uh, RC is at. Uh, you guys all over there. I just had a horrible image in my head of a dwarf's beard so long. So the guy finally climbs it going, don't worry, Rapunzel, I'm here to save you. Come say so save with a dwarf. Is that your... <laughs> yeah, that's my beard. Hey, ah! get all this shit hurts. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that a rug? As soon as they land, they, they just like spread out plans. All right, here's the plan to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys make your way up the stairs, you see a familiar face standing there looking at this odd uh, situation in front of him. And... Uh, he, uh, as you guys see the same thing, the lightning flashes and you see these uh, statues in the alcoves that line the walls. Their their expressions seem to change with every flash of lightning. And RC, you turn around and you see the rest of your friends. Looks like they're making their way up. <laughs> Boy, is the cat doing? She dry yet? Ah, oh, my friends have arrived. Yes, Spot is much drier now. He does not smell as reeking wet as he did before. Oh, that's what you was worried about? And he, like, leans over and sniffs Bandit. He goes, oh, <laughs> oh boy, so I see what you're talking about. Cyrus. Haley just pets Fuzzball and just, like, does not care. <laughs> Cyrus, uh... Well, you are a fellow wet furred thing, so... Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Cyrus, as he walks past you, RC and Spot, he kind of gets Spot a side eye, and he uh, he uh, so he leans over to you and he says, "You left this in the dining hall," and he gives you a letter as well. And he continues on down the hallway. And uh huh. Haley is going to walk up to RC. And smack him on the back of the head as hard as she can. And now your hand hurts. Of course it's going to hurt. Actually, I have claws, so. Ouch. <laughs> Probably won't hurt as much. Depends if you're using your claws or an open hand. If you're using an open hand, it's going to hurt. I am using my claws. Yep, sparks fly, and you all, you, all of you here are the equivalent of nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Cyrus heads off into, into the room there, and this room, as he opens the door, is lit uh, with a fireplace, and you just see the glow of, of the hearth kind of blow into the hallway before you. I am Fuzzball. We'll move into the room. Okay. Are you guys coming or what? Well, yeah, I'm right behind you. Uh, you're just walking really slow. I'm gonna keep my uh, tech magic flashlight up. I'm just, you know, just waving it over everything. At this you point. came this way, right? Yes. Oh, damn it. Just like right behind Fuzzball, like, you might need to check this one for worms. It's as it was in my face, I couldn't help but notice. Really, just like side eyes, Borkin, like, really? You're gonna I... say my wolf has worms? You just caught yours a couple of days ago. Oh, look. I'm not saying mine doesn't have worms, but it's assholes above my head, so I can't investigate it as well. <laughs> not entirely wrong. Get on him. 
Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, she doesn't have those balls do that. <laughs> just, Haley's oh, rolling her eyes, just like whatever. <laughs> Fuzzball heel. <laughs> Did you see close <sighs> enough if she has worms? <sighs> Did Definitely you? Has worms. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so he tells you, uh, Cyrus turns to all of you and he says, make yourself at home here he says your your beds are right to this door uh and then you make a left and it's just up the stairs i must get back down to the kitchen and he gives you a nod and he kind of heads back off out the door do you know how to do burgers eh? of course <laughs> i would like a burger and some ale he says very well because you have the other page send it up to my room He says, as promised, uh, I will send a maid right to you, Mr. Borkin. Well, one of those maids is going to be a little occupied, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you think the God. other one would probably uh, be better to send it up to my room with a different one, you know? Just so we don't, uh, her hands aren't dirty, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He kind of looks at you with, uh, he doesn't really get what you're saying. <laughs> he just kind of nods at you like a servant would, and he kind of lifts his hand up and walks out the door. <laughs> uh, as soon as he's out of sight, he'd be like, oh man, that one's a stupid one, isn't it? <laughs> but that's coming from me. So, before we even sit down to talk, excuse me, and Haley is going to go up to the room and try to find a chamber part to puke. <laughs> Why she are needs... you vomiting? <laughs> because she does not trust anything she did not prepare herself. Or in front of her, oh, so yeah. she and Good she drank call. a whole bottle of wine. Oh she yeah, is you're going hammered get... right now. <laughs> oh yeah, she fucked. <laughs> so she is going to go puke it all up. <laughs> okay, so uh, as you... I just watch her listening, and I'm like, oh, oh, and she's a lightweight. I forgot. As you head through the door, there, mm -hmm. Haley, uh, this. Um, this leads, in, there's another door on the, the edge here and a doorway that stands open on the side. <clears throat> and uh, you run straight out the door <laughs> as you're about to vomit. And you, yeah. <laughs> you, you are on the ledge of the castle. It's just like an overlook <laughs> over uh, Barovia right now. Oh, if, if it, there's an overlook and there's like a clear shot, she's just going to puke over the edge. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> like she's just looking for the first thing just to get everything out of her stomach. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a clear shot for you. Uh, uh, so everyone else that's still in the room. Uh, fuzz, fuzzball is with her. <laughs> just, just keep watch. Okay. <laughs> uh, so a blazing hearth fills, a uh, blazing hearth fire fills this room with rolling waves of red and amber light. The walls are lined with ancient books and tomes, their leather covers well-oiled and preserved through care careful use. All is in order here. The stone floor is concealed beneath a thick, luxurious rug. In the center of the room is a large, low table waxed and polished to a mirror finish. Uh, even the poker in its stand next to the blazing fireplace is polished. Large, overstuffed evians and couches are arranged about the room. Two chairs of burgundy colored wood with padded leather seats and black and back cushions face the hearth. A huge painting hangs over the mantelpiece in a heavy gilded frame. The rolling firelight illuminates the carefully rendered portrait. It is an exact likeness of Irina Coliana. Son of a bitch. Huh. Well. That answers a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, uh, um, okay. Anyway, uh, um, Haley's okay, not no, in the room, so she questions. can't say anything. <laughs> this raises that... so many more questions. I'd like to look at uh, it and see if there's a name plaque underneath it. Yeah. There... Uh, to see if it it matches the name uh, that he said. Okay. 
you, you definitely look and there is a name plate and it says the name Tatiana. Yeah. That's her mom, yeah. Uh no. That's <laughs> what we believe is that's her from uh, a previous reincarnation. No. So Rena I mean, said she had a dream where she was called Tatiana. Yeah. Strahd said that Tatiana was a his lover wife. of his, and then he always wanted, or she always wanted a daughter named Irina. That is both correct. <laughs> I can see that, but also because Irina had a dream of her being Tatiana before, and we all know that everyone repeats their lives over and over again and then relives them. We don't know that. Soul managed to come back to their no, I, I asked that earlier before the game started. Yeah, you guys didn't find that out for sure. You know that there is some reincarnations. You don't know if everyone reincarnates. I thought we talked to the lady about it, and she said that we know that some people continue to live their lives over and over again, and that nobody else is truly alive because the souls that don't reincarnate become husks until a soul inhabits their body. Yes, she just she told you that uh, that people there there is reincarnation that happens. But there's also a lot of empty husks. Uh, she didn't specify where souls, all the soul, souls go, just certain ones. Okay, so our there. characters wouldn't be able to guess that she's possibly a reincarnated person. Yeah. We would just assume possibly. that this is a picture of Irina or her mom. No, yes. I mean, you, you could assume, like, you do know that people do reincarnate, so it, it's possible. Uh, it wouldn't be outside of your character's like realm well, of we, possibility. We, we know uh is it reincarnated. Yeah. That's the only confirmed person I think we know about. I believe so, yeah. But it's definitely within the realm of possibility. <laughs> yeah. But um, our first assumption would be in character would be that though this must be her mom or her grandma. That was my assumption. Yeah. Yeah. Because Strahd just told us that. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. in the back of our heads we'd be like, or it's reincarnation. Oh, there's a better doesn't trust Irina at all. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, I know that you don't trust her at all. Me, but other hand, me and Haley trust her completely. True. <laughs> yeah. Haley's considering her family, but she's not in the room right now. She's puking her guts out over the side railing. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Probably spend like 10, 15 minutes doing that. I can really I, can I grab one of these toes? It was a big Take dinner! <laughs> you sure can. Uh, you can roll a d12 for me. d12? Yes. I can do it in roll 20. I want to take out my uh, investigator's notebook okay. and uh, try to do as good of a reincarnation of the drawing as I can in the same clothing and everything. It, uh, actually, probably not a drawing. He's probably going to take detailed notes okay. on what is in the drawing. Okay. And uh, I'm going to talk to Irina about that later, but just take <laughs> detailed notes on clothing, time frame, when it looks like the drawing was, and how old it looks and all that stuff. Okay. So I can remember to ask her about her family and things like that. Because I know she doesn't remember everything, but maybe questions and knowing there's a painting of her might bring some more stuff back like it did last time. Okay, and you can roll a history check for me. Or, uh, no, no, never mind. You're good. You, you could totally do all that. Uh, so, uh, Lisa Betta, you pull out a book, and it is a... Uh, it, it's a... It's, fine book it's in very good condition and it looks well oiled the the leather cover of it uh on the front you make out the words uh herald heraldry it's, it's a book of heraldry whatever that is <laughs> that is uh heraldry is the 
uh, the uh, lineages and the birth and death of royal families. Ah, yeah, basically, sense. it's it's family tree stuff. Gotcha. Can I flip through it? Yeah, sure can. Uh, Please do. <laughs> Yeah, you see, uh, Borfin wouldn't have any clue, but like me as a person is like, goddamn, read that thing already, Elizabetta. Uh, it's a pretty big book. You can roll me a perception check or an investigation check, actually. Oh boy. Hey. Yeah, you are flipping through the pages. Okay, right. Nothing really catches your eye. It, it. You just see a bunch of random names, and then you, you catch the. Uh, Monzarovich name and you immediately stop on that because you know that is Strahd's last name uh, you see uh, what was it uh, the king the Borov Borov yeah yeah you see uh, a lot of the names don't ring a bell but uh you see King Barov's name and uh, his mother's name, uh, Ravinovia mm -hmm. Bara or uh, von Zarovich, and uh, you see below their names uh, Strad von Zarovich and Sergei von Zarovich. And after that, it stops. That's his brother, right? Yes. Didn't his brother die in the battle? No. Oh, so we don't know what happened to his brother yet. You don't. Yeah, the notes I have was uh, his father died in battle, I believe. Yes. Uh, the queen was I uh, depressed and shit about it, but his mom loved uh, his brother more than him, or he felt that he loved him more than him. And then she died, and then his brother died shortly after her. So, he murdered them all. <laughs> well, he, he built the castle for her, but she never saw it. Sounds like the ultimate uh, guilt move. <laughs> well, he built it before <laughs> she died. Yeah, no, this is just <laughs> this is me trying to find more reasons to want to kill him. Fucking sec, but what if? But you think about it, though. Yeah. Think about it. He totally could have killed her, anyways. And that way, he's even more of an asshole, and I'll feel even better when I stab him in the face. Did I? Oh my god. It. I look at the picture. <laughs> okay. I'm like taking notes down and be like, oh, hey, you gotta look at this. This looks just like her. I'm trying to get as much as I can down. I can't draw for shit, though, so I'm just writing letters and numbers and saying how long each distance is and things like that. I can try drawing it. You know, I'm good with maps. Well, you're you better off than I have. I've got, so. a of, got a bunch of descriptions. Very descriptive. If they were to read it, you'd be able to picture it in your brain. Well, uh, give me a parchment and, and let, me, let me try to draw this. All right, here you go. I hand her an right. extra piece of paper out of my uh, yeah. out of my notebook. Right. Haley is gonna. Mm -hmm. You can make a performance right. check for me. Uh, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Oh, it didn't roll. Come on. There it goes. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, oh, wait. I thought that I was looking at that and I saw the that, green again for that. the Nat 20. And I was just like, oh, wait, never mind. That's not hers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a seven. Yeah, you. I thought it was a one for a second. <laughs> you thought you were really nailing it. You were scratching, erasing, you know, doing some shading. And you look at it after you're done. You blow it off, blow all the eraser marks off. And you look at it and it is. Slightly better than a stick figure drawing. <laughs> I'm like looking over her shoulder and I'm like, so we're going to go with mine? 
You blame uh, the clocks. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I blame. Yet I point over at RC. I go, I blame him for messaging me all through dinner, and I just had to hit him on the back of the fucking head and broke my nails. <laughs> oh yeah, you did look like you broke that one there in the middle. I just flip off Borkin with it. <laughs> oh like yeah, reaches back it's, to the back of his head and it's shit ding. right there. <laughs> ah, I have found it. Would you like it back? Keep it. Make it into something. I don't care. Which, by the way, RC, we need to talk about you wandering the fuck off. So, okay, here's the thing. All right, because if if we did not run into you, I would have come to find your ass and dragged you back to that fucking dining room. Why did you go off on your own? You've done this twice now. Explain I yourself. I am required to expense with justice in the most efficient way I see possible. At the time, the greatest risk of law was spot. And I determined that he was in more danger than you. Later, in when I retrieved spot and went to look for you guys, I was concerned that your previous actions had led to more greater breakage of law. Are you talking about we're upstanding citizens? We never broke the law once. Eh. <laughs> no, uh, Haley just was <laughs> slightly uneasy at the <laughs> um, oh, we guys, we guys look at all sheepish for. I think it's a hundred percent accurate. <laughs> technically, you are accomplice to enforcing some laws, but anyways, that's the point here, RC. You need to stay with the group from here on out, because if you wander off on your own, I did not realize we were a group. I figured you were the crew and I was the law enforcement to ensure your safety and that laws were being followed. Haley is going to walk right up to RC and look him dead in the eye. You well, I think this group's law is the only law that really matters around here, yeah? Yeah. Um you, RC, are part of this group. You came with us here. So, therefore, you are part of the group. Oh, I think you need a little reconfiguration there, Bolt Brains. <laughs> what he said. Then, <laughs> if I am part of the group, I will have to deputize each of you. Okay. So, how does that work exactly? RC pulls out a couple of... Uh... Uh, small mound, uh, round metal badges with a small pin, you know, through the back. And within, like, seconds with a deft hand, you watch him walk to, like, the lapel, you know, the, the shirt collar of each of you, and pins this pin on each of you, takes his hand, puts it on the right, puts it on the left, and says to all of you, you are now all deputized under law. You are my subordinates that will help me to dispense to make sure that the law is followed. Those that do not follow the law, click, click, pulls out the big gun, shall be dispensed with. I like Borkham looks down at it. He goes, oh, we're going to listen to what you say. I don't know if that's going to work for me. Like, <laughs> Yeah, um. Uh, you, you can listen to what Elizabeth says. That's fine with me. <laughs> but she's captain to this group. I'm not pretty much being a subordinate to anybody. Yeah. Uh, following the rules is not exactly my forte here, RC. But um, we're more making the rules around here. Yeah. And like also, said, you need this to posting her. is going to be very confusing. I will require several volumes of the local laws to determine what is part of the law. 
I say, okay, one second. And I like start to like scribble <laughs> down in my notebook, I, like rip off like three pages of papers out of my notebook. And I start writing stuff in my notebook. And then <laughs> like, you guys, you guys talk. All right. <laughs> he, he is going to put both, paw, both of her hands on the sides of RC's head and kind of like make them focus. RC, we are not your subordinates. We are your teammates. There is a difference. Okay? I have merely deputized you. It is your own personal responsibility to uphold the law. Haley throws up her hands in frustration. I give up! As you do that, I like finish and be like, oh, right, this is perfect. <laughs> I like uh, go and I hand them the, the three pieces of paper and it says official, law, official laws of Barovia on the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Number one, it says <laughs> Elizabeth is king and ruler of all Barovia, rightfully <laughs> and truly so. <laughs> all her word is truly uh, is uh, speculated in the law. And then the second, anyone on Elizabeth's team is, uh, is, uh, able to circumvent and change laws as they see fit anybody that travels with them they are doing the correct thing that is law and then like they just go through a whole bunch of stuff that like makes it to where like no matter what our group does that is following the law and it's three pages of this in like do, like minuscule detail of like no matter what we do we're following the laws and everything we do is right and if nobody's doing stuff that we're doing they're breaking the law oh boy interesting. that's interesting <laughs> <laughs> and then that's oh, what, i understand now. Now. your laws this, seem uh, to be very simple and straightforward not as complicated as it is in my home city it well, takes this place, it's a bit of weird, to so we've had to adapt. all the laws. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching all of this. These laws, laws apply laws. to supersede any that were previously given to me by my superior officer. Oh, Haley. yes, definitely. These are the new laws. Yeah. Haley quickly grabs one of the pieces of paper and writes on it quickly. RC will stay with group unless instructed otherwise. I like There's a lot. Be like, That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. What was this it? way? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it was, basically, Haley put it that it's against the law for RC to leave the group. I like it. <laughs> this seems <laughs> superfluous and unnecessary. But if it is part of the laws, as I have read in this document, then I shall follow them. I shall keep these for future reference. All right. That should free up RC's character from any, like, <laughs> ridiculousness against the group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> RC, like, takes a finger, puts it to his head and says, deleting requirement to avoid any future social gatherings, as it is against the law from my superior uh, Elizabeth. Haley, then just face palms. I just, roll my, I, Go ahead. I just roll my eyes and walk out of the room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm giving Elizabeth a thumbs up and then she just rolls her eyes and walks out. I'm like, boy, oh, I thought it was good. Uh, I just try to program RC. This is, this is so not going as planned. <laughs> It'd be fine. What's worse than happen? Just reboot the, the base instructions for a robot for our fucking session tonight. I, I was gonna like, say that, like, uh, I also imagine that somewhere on the laws, that like, just some drawings, like there's a wolf. There's some oh, yeah, food. no, there's definitely shitty drawings of us in there, too. Like, <laughs> But there's that random shit, too, like a wolf and a sword and like a dead straw and some like, boobs. So I draw on there. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah no, and RC's wrong. keeping those. He's gonna wave these in somebody's <laughs> face and tell them this is the rule of law right here. <laughs> oh, and if they don't follow it, he's gonna shoot him in the face. That's that, that that that's exactly how this is gonna go now. 
Haley quickly Perfect. points out this is not the rules of Barovia exactly. These are the rules of Vlaki. I like where as she's saying that before she can finish, I'm like, uh, well, mm, 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 mm. No, there's the rules of Barovia. There's the rules of everything. Don't listen to him. Those are the rules of everything. Our law in this group is the rules of Barovia. Period. So Elisa Betta is right. I'm like whispering yeah. in her ear and I'm like, we can't make distinctions right now. <laughs> Those are very hastily written up. <laughs> Fine. We will work on these later. I'm like, oh, those are also those are the highlights, really. I'll have the full book at the house. I'll give you the book when we get back there. And I like slide a, some paper and a pencil over to her. Uh, her. I'll be like, you could probably add to that. <laughs> Haley just grabs the paper and walks over, sits down, and starts going down on it, <laughs> writing all these rules. Lisa Betta, as they're they're all kind of caught up in conversation. Uh, you notice through the door over here. Uh, Familiar face, uh, Anastasia walks out, and she looks like she just got out of the bath and has like a nightgown on. And she looks at you, she says, "Oh, hello." I like see her walk in. I'm like, like I'm walking towards Elizabetta with papers in my hand, and then I like stop and I see her, and I'm like, <laughs> "Oh, you're not gonna have time for this." <laughs> <laughs> you're like, "Hey, can you sign?" Oh. I need to sign off on some of the. Uh, oh, 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 man. Oh, never mind. You could, uh, I'll just. Me and Haley will get it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you focus on that. That is going to be fun. <laughs> hey, looks up for a second. Oh, I found Elizabeth. <laughs> Goes back to writing seriously. <laughs> like walking back towards Haley, like doing the like, oh my god, did you see her? She's way hotter than I thought. She might be a vampire, but like I probably still smashed before I stabbed her in the face. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Haley is just nodding. <laughs> I see like Law is smashed before a stab. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, we should have that in there. Smash before stab. <laughs> Haley's just like, no. <laughs> like, it seems legit to me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> we'll call it a test smash. <laughs> uh... She does good enough. She's obviously a good person. <laughs> So, uh, oh, he depends on what you're into. Anastasia walks around the, the dining table here and she says, uh, Tell your friends to stay here. We'll, we'll go up to the room. Not enough for all of you. If, if you'll excuse us, and then kind of takes your hand and starts to walk you up the, the corridor here. And she's walking away. I'm like, but it looks more than for one person, though. Uh, you better hold on to your socks, Elizabeth. <laughs> Haley immediately looks at Borkin going, oh, don't worry. Your maid's going to be here eventually. Oh, yeah, yeah. About that. <laughs> like, lean in closer. Be like, I don't actually plan on having sex with her. You know that, right? <laughs> I kind of figured how you perked up on, you know, that one p specific name. Um... But, anyways, yeah, I kind of figured that's what you were up to. If it's start, the wrong start one, to hear a loud actually... ratcheting sound over from from RC next to spot. A ratcheting I... sound. A ratcheting yes. sound. Yeah. What are you doing, RC? He's pulled out several tools and is working on a few pieces of uh, either himself or his gear. Ah, okay. Um, and Haley... it's not quiet. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, oh, okay. Right okay, so, um, like we were saying, because, like, we're used to this by now. We're like, oh, he's just doing shit with tools again. All right, yeah. cool. He's always uh, working on something. Um, never get out of here, by the way. This is what I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the maze. <laughs> <laughs> Haley is also going to point out to Borkin, I am not sleeping tonight at all, by the way. All right, so then depending on which Do you say that loudly enough for me to hear? Yes. 
I do not require sleep. I only need to shut down temporarily for a few hours. But I am aware of my surroundings during this time. Well, we could use him to watch the doors at least. Him and Spot. And we um, have Fuzzball and we have Bandita. Yes, yes. yes. I, I also oh. have the ability to make alarm snare. So oh, I have the I have the ability to make a regular snare. Yeah. Um but uh importantly, before we carry on, mm-hmm. if the incorrect maid comes to me and I have to entertain her for the night, uh however I may do that. I'm probably board games, I know some good ones. Is uh, <laughs> the shoots and arrows, you know. Uh then you could show you her how are, to drop kick a bird. This yes, this, this these are the things. That's part of the main part of shoots and arrows, obviously. Okay. <laughs> uh you will have to get the other maid to you, the one we need. When you get her, uh we can have R C maybe or somebody pass a message in between us and we can give plans for extraction. Well the thing is though, what if she doesn't want to go? That's she came here on her own. What if she doesn't want to leave? I can understand that, but at least we can know. Look, we but know at the very least we need to get in, t- in contact with her and have a conversation with her. Hopefully, they send up the right maid. And if they don't, we could say, you know, ask the other maid. Well, we were actually hoping for the other maid. In, no, no, you know, no, no, no. I will just, distract the one that comes up if it's the wrong one, and then you have services of the other one. But I, I, what, what services do I recommend? Oh, wait, I just puked on the you'll side of the couch. You'll have to figure it out. I uh, say, so you'll have to figure it out. <laughs> but we need to talk to her tonight. Okay, okay. So, while you keep the other one busy, I guess I can request to have someone, you know, come up and maybe, you know. Give you some food and wine if you know. You, you could even pretend to fuck her. Just do what you need to do. Yeah, I don't want to do what I'm having to do tonight. You know, I got my wee thing back there at the town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Um. This is purely because it needs to be done. Uh, it doesn't need to be not done right tonight, does it? I mean, we know where she is. We know she isn't going is, anywhere. Yes, but this is the best night for it, isn't it? This is the night that we're here with no suspicion. <laughs> you think they're not watching us? Wow, well, I figured I was really unsuspicious this whole time. <laughs> we bugged you you moved something first, and then we Fuzzball got attacked by zombies. I had to heal her. Oh, that was a fun zombie fight. I mean, it was kind of funny to watch her wrangle around with a zombie arm in her mouth. That was actually kind <laughs> yeah, of funny. Yeah, well, I was watching Ben need to do the same thing, just fighting an arm. It was hilarious. <laughs> I was really hoping I could like cut the leg out from it, and that way it's just a torso. But it uh, unfortunately oh, and then they it can didn't chase happen. it around when it crawls around on its arms. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but still, um, hopefully they send up the right maid because I really don't want to call the other one up here because it's going to be just a little too suspicious. I mean. Strahd obviously knew we were looking for somebody the second you mentioned the maid. He's smart. Let's be real here. He, I know that. But if it's not me that's calling for it, uh, there's a chance he might ride it off. And they are maids. And we would ask for the maids when we need something. Or maybe minute, minute. it's even you just idea. calling for, you know, someone to clean up your vomit. And then you could ask them a couple quick questions while they do that. I, you know. I got a better idea. Ahem. And I point to the clothes. Uh, no, best idea. no. I have a better one. Uh, Look at uh, what uh, you're uh, wearing. You ripped your clothes. Yeah, well, hell yeah. I needed more mobility while I was swinging my sword. Exactly. And I have vomit on my dress. So obviously. Uh-huh. 
that you oh, know is, it's amazing so it up if it's the wrong one you can see if she knows how to sew and if she doesn't know how to sew then she you can ask if the other maid knows how to sew and if she can't you know if she could send for her to come up and maybe fix up your suit and then we'll have throw her in my dress and to the we has a plan to get both of them up here without getting the wrong one. And I don't have to do anything stupid. Oh, I don't know. It could be fun. You never know. You might like it. No, I'm not interested in that stuff. That's, that's you and Elizabetta all over it. Well, if <laughs> I got to, I'll do it. <laughs> He's just like smiling really widely. <laughs> like it's it's been a while for Borkin. He never. <laughs> of course. He, he is, he's just like uh, he's been like super about his ex. So like he's been on a like a war path ever since then, and now he's like <laughs> uh, he's loosened up a lot since being around you guys. And so now he's just like you know maybe I can get some uh get some sticky. <laughs> <laughs> but you know he's he's definitely not trying to get this made no but if he's got to it's probably good to practice up before he gets to his home girl that back there at the town hey she might have tips <laughs> so at least but, yeah. to, uh, just, <laughs> as uh lanastrasia uh leads you up to the room she throws you on the bed and oh. uh she she uh climbs on top of you puts her lips to your ear and kind of quietly says in your ear she says elisa betta what did you want to discuss? Well, aren't you the forward one? Well, I'm the forward one. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know some more about you before we get to business. <laughs> says, well, what do you want to know? Hold on, I have notes. <laughs> I don't so he's, he's just like, whoa, bitch, you're not going to wine and dine me? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It's try to dine That you. easy? And wine. <laughs> that was your boss. <laughs> Sugar daddy. <laughs> How long have you been here? So I've been here for a few centuries now. Was it your choice to come in? As well, yes and no. I uh, didn't choose to become a, a vampire off off the bat. Uh, Strahd is just such a charming fellow, you know. I'm sure you've seen it. I, like, casually let my mind touch his mind for a second, and I just say, Oi. Hard questions post coitus, and then like send him my face in his head with a big <laughs> winky face, and then I, I detach. Um, how exactly did Strahd convince you? Hmm. You're quite beautiful, but there's more than one of you. Why would you stay here? It says, well, you see, uh didn't take much. She, I was in love with him. Still am. Uh, once you devote your life to somebody, it just, when you understand how a vampire works, I'm, I'm sure you know, it, it's just different, you know. It's, a, a vampire lives for several centuries, you know. You can't just have one for eternity. It's boring. Oh, I absolutely know what you mean. <laughs> um. You don't get jealous of the other wives? Again, just... You struck me the second that I saw you. Well, the others, they... We, we have our quarrels, but... But at the end of the day, we all... Are here for one purpose, and that's to serve our Lord. Like I want to like do like the hair caress thing, you know? Okay. <laughs> do you, Do you think that Strahd loves you each, Batch? 
says he is far more ancient than I am, so I I can't tell you for sure. Is it's you you know how a vampire is? It's seen seen those things, and she kind of like looks at your mouth as she says, uh, uh, you know he he uh he's been around a lot longer, and once you are uh, turned for that long, you start to lose hold of your emotions. I I felt it. He seems to have some emotions for somebody else, though. Yes, uh, Irina. Or, she would say Tatiana. Okay. I was like, oh, shit, she's not Irina. <laughs> uh, Tatiana. Uh, okay. She says, yes, Tatiana was his lover in in his past life, so he says. Fortunately, that's... There's no way to break that bond. Do you know what happened to her? There's a... I tried to get him to talk about it, but he doesn't. Is he... Is he looking for more? More... Are they wives? What are they? Messages? She kind of perks Lovers? up. She says, Why are you interested? <laughs> uh, I give her like a pet. I could be convinced. She says, Well, you should know something. And she kind of motions for you to like, kind of does this to you. And she kind of whispers in your ear. She says, I know who turned you. Oh, sh shit. <laughs> uh, try to play it cool. Right, nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, do you know? Yes, it's the one they call the Hound. Does that name anything to me? Uh, Not offhand, no. Uh, well, I want to just know more about you, darling. You can talk about me later. It says you, poor thing. You, you don't, you don't deserve the life to be uh, a vampire for all eternity. We, we chose this life. You did not. What about the others? What about the maids? Did they choose this? Yes, they all have chosen their their lives. Can That's... I inside check her? Yeah. Ugh. As far as you can tell, she is telling the, the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. So believable. <laughs> Everything she says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, sa she says, Straw... This is you might have your thoughts about Strahd, but he's not he's not a complete monster. He allows people their freedom. Is the happenings here in Barovia just happenstance of his curse. See they, they got trapped along with him. Sorry, I was making a note of the hound. Oh you're good. <laughs> um uh. So you're telling me that everyone that comes to Strahd's castle does so willingly? Yes, uh... Every, yeah, uh, the, unless the... Because there's one exception. Uh, and that, of course, is when he invites people much like yourselves over for dinner. What is that supposed to mean? Well, like I said, we've been around for a long time now, and had several adventurers like you and your friends come through from time to time and Strahd likes to get to know everybody that enters his domain. 
Why is he so interested in getting to know everybody? He's just uh that that's just how he is. He is the host at heart. He says so he says my dear aren't, I'm I'm so confused. Aren't you curious about your past? I am. Um, I just had one more question for you. And I know this might be kind of hard as you do care for Strahd. If he cares so much about Tatiana, why doesn't he go take Irina? Says Irina. Ballsy. So oh, that poor thing. I don't don't think he really can. Like he it's it's not about the body, it's about so he wants her to love him back. I did understand that. How do you know so much about my own past? As well, we, me and the other brides, we we talk to the Vistani as they come about. And we we have our own sources. We we've been around a long time, and we we've collected a lot of information. And Ludmilla led me to believe that you are indeed a victim. Victim. Isn't that the name of the old lady? What's that? Isn't that the name of the old lady? What's that? Ah, uh, Ludmilla. Uh, that was one of the other brides at the, the table. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, got you. So she must be the one that's attached to the Vistani. Which we're also looking for one of the lost Vistani girls. We are I looking for... Name is. It was the one for, for um, Rudolph. Yeah, Esmeralda. Yeah, that's why Esmeralda's been stuck in my head. It's like, Esmeralda's been stuck in my head enough... To where I made another character in a different campaign I'm playing in with uh, Haru running that my character's name is Esmeralda. <laughs> but we haven't found Esmeralda yet. Yeah, yeah, we have no idea where she's at. She's also, um, but she's not a damsel in distress. That uh, she's no, she's a badass bitch yeah. that we need to figure out what's going on. She's she's Van Richten's protege, or he wants her to be his protege, something like that. It's his protege. I wrote it in my notes. Yeah, it's his. Uh, it's his apprentice. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> but we met Gertruda. That's the other name. Did we ever catch the name of the other maid? You did not. Oh yeah, you did. Helga. Um. Helga. Yeah, yeah. Helga. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So she's not here, as far as we know. You haven't seen either of the maids since you've. Departed from the room. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I was saying that uh, Homegirl is not here. Esmeralda is not here as oh. far as we know. Oh. Not as far as you know. Could be. Yeah, we're hoping for <laughs> Gertruda to come to the room. We're hoping. 50 50 shot. Fingers crossed. 50 50 chance. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, Haley's going to be destroying her dress. <laughs> yep. <laughs> More than she already did. Well, she got a little puke on it. Nothing says she don't. She can't make more hairballs, okay? I imagine it's like totally like ripped and shit over your armor, though. Well, my it was actually my ar my armor was over the dress. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. By this time, I've taken my clothes off and put them like just in a pile on the edge of the floor because they're useless by now because I ripped the shit out of them to try and get get movement for the fight. <laughs> Um, do you know if, if the hound is here in Bolivia? She says no. Uh, he he's not here. He said, "Well, some some time ago, uh, one night, uh, Strahd sent him to. Uh, he was." 
looking for the the blood of a royal uh, a ruler there's he says there's nothing like the the taste of a, a another ruler's blood he was he wanted uh the hound to go fetch him a ruler from one of the nearby kingdoms and uh when he left he he never returned again And I'm guessing that's me. Oh shit! She says no. It was uh the from what the Vistani tell me and Ludmilla that the the one he was looking for was named Shaw. S H E R. S H A R. Oh, that the goddess. Uh, it might be ER. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm like shit. That's a, like <laughs> like uh, the uh, singer, <laughs> like my warlock patron. <laughs> uh, I might have got the wrong name. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just got deep. Yeah, the the lady that uh, the the one that has rivals with your uh, uh, what do you call it. Oh yeah, that's that is totally my warlock patron. Okay, <laughs> that one. <laughs> so Saloon, Saloon is my uh, my divine soul sorcerer, and then Shar is my patron for my warlock. Ah, gotcha. So, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like. I'm down. I fuck okay. with it. Okay, <laughs> that's fucking dope. That's a nice tie-in. Good job, yeah. Dan. Thank you. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so she tells you that, uh, says he, she says, I've heard rumors that, uh, after he met her, she used her mages to charm him and start to do her bidding. And, uh, so he's, he started killing for her instead of Strahd. And, uh, he, Succumb to his own bloodlust, and that's when he met you. It was a long time ago. Yes, it was. Does he? Uh, said said from from the stories the Vistania tell. Something changed that night whenever he met you. Question. So by this timeline that you're going through, that means Strahd was sending vampires out through the barrier, correct? That is correct. All right. A vampire. Hey, <laughs> that's one. <laughs> that's all that I, that's, uh, you know. That's all it takes. I, like, that's all it fucking takes. Like Borkin, uh, he's looking for vampires that killed his wife, and that like his all his evidence is led back to here. He just told me during the dinner that he can't send vampires through the barrier. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> and Haley told him to tell the truth. Oh. You had a zone of truth. Too bad we don't know that yet. <laughs> and I also had the zone of truth up, but that yeah. doesn't mean he's not powerful enough to bypass it. That's true. Well, he he didn't lie about it. it, it everything he said was was truthful. Okay, okay, so he might not have killed my people, uh, but he definitely isn't telling the truth about not being able to send people through the barrier. Well, you, I'll say you do know that the Vistani can travel through the barrier. That's like a bloodline of the, of the gypsies. So he might not have lied in quotation marks, <laughs> but he didn't tell the truth. He double speak like a goddamn champion. Yeah. <laughs> didn't tell the whole truth. <laughs> but pretty much everything Strahd has done so far. Yeah. Like he's not necessarily like, like, he's lying, like, but he's there's... Real 
flick. There's shit going on that he's, you know, not telling us the details for. He's able to talk circles around almost anyway. He's he's the perfect car salesman. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh why do you why do you tell me this now? What good does it do? She says, well, I saw the way you looked at me at the table. I didn't want you to have the same fate as as we we brides do. It's the charming man. It's easy to fall for. I've given this life a long time ago. There's no hope for me anymore. I, I understand those feelings. Um, is my room right next to Elizabeth's? Uh, she went up the stairs. Uh, yeah, you... We're still in the common room while this is happening. Yes. <laughs> is it within 30 feet of me, is what I'm asking. Uh, uh, we've been up pretty high, I think. I'd say well, probably. we'd already gone up the tower, so, like, uh, then, uh, like, if they went up another floor then there's a good chance, unless they're in one of the rooms either directly above us or directly next to us, that it's out of my 30-foot range. Yeah, it's probably just outside of it. Are we in the penthouse, by the way? Sweet-ass room. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like... Like, this is the the room upstairs that uh, Cyrus was talking about. He kind of lets you guys go from where you're, you guys were at up to here, like, is where you're staying for the night. Pretty much the, the top floor. Oh. Also the hardest rooms to escape from. Yeah. Precise, precisely. Now for you guys, I just walk down the fucking wall and walk out. That's true. Perks of being a well, vampire. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I Spot could climb. just jump for it and say, fuck it. That's what Birkin would do. That's exactly what he would do. I can fly. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't fly. <laughs> um. Are you suggesting that there's something that can be done about me? <clears throat> she says, well, I could get revenge. That's all I want to see. Oh, I do like revenge. I, I love me some good revenge, too. <laughs> How do you suppose I do that? As well, you could find the hound kill him uh, I don't know that's what, that's what I would do drink his blood that does sound lovely <laughs> any suggestions where to find him he says well uh, I do know that <clears throat> the reason he uh became Strahd's consort in the first place was he thought he it was in an attempt to escape uh, the pain he felt inside of himself. Uh, he His pain was caused by a love affair with a Vistani woman. I, I don't know who the, the girl was, but he loved this girl. But I guess she had another thing, a thing for another man. Uh, she says, so perhaps uh, perhaps the Vistani might know more information. But if you can <clears throat> if you could find the girl, she would probably know where he's likely to go. What girl? The girl she was he was in love with. I oh. don't I don't know her name. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were hinting at something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but the other the other Vistani joy that we want to find. Oh. Um. Wouldn't that have been hundreds of years ago? Um at least a century. Yep. Plus a little bit more. 
What if it's the old woman? <laughs> That'd be gross. <laughs> so how would that be gross if he was in love with her a hundred years ago? She wouldn't be that old, right? That's true, I guess. <laughs> yeah, probably... she'd be a young thing back then. I would assume that she, with her magical properties, has lived longer than most people. So <laughs> I'm assuming that she probably wasn't an old woman a hundred years ago, though. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> She was probably young, hot, and flying out to flirt. You know what I'm saying? Possibly. <laughs> well, you guys actually have known that they're we hags. We don't know yet. <laughs> you guys learned that they were hag, or she was a hag. So, yeah. Oh. You 100% know that she was not ever beautiful at one point in her life, ever. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I'm talking about the Vistani woman. Oh, oh okay. Madame Eva? Oh, Madame the, Eva. Okay. Yeah, Madame Eva. I thought you were talking about grandma. I was like, oh, God. No, not grandma. No, she's, she's a mother of six. Which, by the way, side note, everybody, I was looking at those uh, those clues, and one of them says a windmill on a lonely hill, which exactly matches the hag's fortress. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we might be able to get two birds with one stone, murder all the hags, and get something out of it. That's why I wanted to go there right away. <laughs> uh, I get it now, but I didn't actually like read, because like, I was trying to like separate myself from those. And then I was just like, ah, well, it's still just clues. If I guess it, it's cool. And I just, I won't input on ones that I know the answer to. That one's pretty easy. That one's super I easy. Said yeah, that one's also, I also better, think so. I know that the Sun Sword is in Barovia, but uh, is in the town of Barovia somewhere. I don't even remember where they all were after the game. I just I remember the windmill one. one. Says it's in a city. Uh, it's in a city swallowed by water that's overwatched by uh, the evil lord's castle or something like that. It's and pretty, that city has a river that runs right next to it, and it's right underneath the castle Ravenloft. Um. Well, thank you for telling me all this. I have to process it. Is it? I understand," she said. "Well, I I must be going now. I I do hope you find your whatever it is you're looking for." And she kind of like, "What? You shouldn't leave me on red like that." <laughs> <laughs> she heads out the room. Uh, I, well, I, I, one more. Well, yeah, one more question. Okay, go for it. <laughs> for her, as she leaves. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. Uh, if Stroud ever got Irina, what do you think she would do to her? Uh, she would tell you that uh, he would uh, said it. She would say it, it depends on what Irina, how Irina would feel back. As she kind of heads off. <laughs> I'm guessing that if she loved him, he would keep her. And if she hated him, he would kill her. So she could reincarnate hmm. again. Above board. I mean, that was my... This is my suspicion all along. That he wouldn't... Either he can't take her, or he doesn't want to take her. Because if he wanted to, he just would. And there's nothing any of us to do a goddamn thing about it right now. That's true. So I'm not super worried about protecting her. But there's still something there's something funny going on there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take off the dress, fold it up. And put my put my armor back on, my normal attire. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I totally forgot that. Like right in the middle of the hall, Elizabeth had just changed. Yeah, yeah. right in the dining room. <laughs> Borkin was just all red cheeked, trying hard not to look, but he just wants to know. <laughs> it it was the you know the fingers being open, peeking through. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, oh, oh, just like look over the shoulder, and be like, oh yeah, she is definitely hot. Okay, all right. 
So King right. Charisma, yo. I'm gonna have to apologize for that later. <laughs> <laughs> she does not care. As all that was going on, uh, what was the rest of you guys doing? <laughs> I'm gonna grab a drink. I'm gonna use my speaker sitting here, you guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, working. I I have one other thing since like we got the May thing going on. And by the way, at this point, Haley has taken off her dress and is put on her regular armor without it like just examining the puke stain um you know how earlier we dealt with those zombies and you know we were told not to touch the master's things and she's saying it, the quotations around the word master um what what if um we do get the wrong maid and we do try to get the right maid up here and well we try to take her out of the castle. Don't you think that pissed Strahd off a little bit? He's just like in the process of like trying to get out of his clothes, but there's like so many holes in it that he's having trouble. He's got like a shirt half over his head and he's just like, well, well yeah, I don't see what that the fucking problem is. I'm going to get yeah, out of here one way or the other. The entire time you guys have just heard like hammering, <laughs> screwdriver, ratchet sounds. Oh, and they also have no idea that the maids are here voluntarily. Well, yeah, we we true. were told by uh, was it Mad Mary? It was it was the mom of Gertrude that said uh, she went willingly to the castle. So we knew she's there willingly, but we were oh, sorry, yeah. sent to find her and find out what happened to her. However, did we agree to bring her home? Um, no. Okay, that doesn't so, sound like us. Yeah, I yeah, think we no. we agreed to find her. And... Yeah, well, I, like like I'm fine with finding her. Uh, like okay. Borgen, he's obviously like uh, he's just like I want to save her no matter what. Period. She doesn't want to go. That is what it is. It's on her. And then we just but tell her if she is not trying to be here anymore. He's he's gonna save her. Okay, that's fine. Multiple rescue plans but in the future? Yeah. One of them did tell me that he's a monster. Yeah. I was going to say, like, one of them looks like they're really upset to be here and they don't want to be here anymore. So, I like, don't know which one it was, though. Yeah, I don't know if that was the trigger or not. Either. Uh, I don't think so that, that's that, why that I kind of still want to try and get both maids up here to talk to them both. So even if it is Gertrude that comes up to me first, you should still go with the plan and I'm like giving you my clothes that are all ripped to shreds. It's like, here you go. <laughs> this will work for the plan, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. This will definitely work. Speaking of maids, Borkin, uh, there's a slight crack in the mm. door across uh, the hallway here and inside you see a maid a maid's dress like floating about through the, the crack. I like see it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, and then I say, "Um, or just uh, you're better at folding than I am." Oh, hello there. Um, you want to come in, or or are you just gonna stand in the doorway? She kind of sticks her hand out. All you can really make out is her hand, and she kind of gives you like one of those. I like me. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you a Can thumbs up. Over. <laughs> Come in. Don't be scared. We don't bite. Uh, 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 is why you, you're not going to come and talk to us first? That's uh, all, right, well, all right. I'll head off then. Um, and I look at Elizabeth and uh, not Elizabeth, but I look in a, a, a Haley and I say in her mind, and be like, all right, we'll stick to the plan. Um, just, if this isn't the one. I'll let you know. Okay. And uh, I head off with the maid. Okay, is Bandita going with you? Yes, she is going with me. Okay. Haley hands her dress to Fuzzball and just go, All right, honey, rip it! Okay, this, uh, so as you walk in, you see a maid sitting on the edge of the bed here. Uh, this maid 
Doesn't look like the other two maids that you've seen. This is a halfling maid. First halfling you've seen here. And you are completely struck with like awe as it is an exact resemblance to your wife. Um, um, Sarah? A bore can spin so long. He just collapses onto the ground and leans against the wall. He's just like, oh, what, 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 what are you, do what are you doing here? I thought, well, why are you, why, why are you here? I've been looking for you for for so long and he's just like like he's breaking apart like he's just like like he's just so overcome with so many emotions he's just that's i i've been looking for you for so long as and then he just like jumps up and he just like spear tackles her onto the bed and just holds her and he's just like i'm so, it's so good to see you is oh my god Oh my god. She uh like kinda grabs you back and just says, It's it's good to see you too, sweetie. Uh what you do notice what? you can roll an inside check as you do that. Not great. <laughs> yeah, like it seems a little off. It's over 10. Be happy. Yeah, like, like there's definitely a body there. You can feel something, and it looks just like your wife, but it's some, something's off about it. It's not quite right. Yeah, and then, like, uh, so, I'll like, as I, like, thing. hold her and I'm, like, running my hands over, I'm noticing parts of my hand are, like, going within the illusion, so to speak. Yeah. And I, like throw her off of me and then I like stand up immediately just more mad than you guys have ever seen Borgen like he's about to kill this bitch <laughs> he goes alright you better stop that right now what's the last thing you'll ever do Borgen it, it's me what's, what's wrong I know my wife nothing you can do with your trickery is ever going to change that this will I am your wife, and I've seen the way you've been messing around with that little thing in the, the city. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's funny you should say something like that, because it's nothing like my wife would have said. She told me if anything ever happened to us while we was adventuring, I was to find my happiness. Uh, she'd be more mad that I've spent so many years alone. And I pull my rapier and I put it up right against her neck. And I was like, now is the last chance says, Borkin, it, it's me, I swear. How do you not believe me? And I press forward. Okay. I say, if I'm in the same room... No, they're in another room. RC, you're oh. with Kaylee. We're, yeah, we're in the common fun. area still. So as you press forward, it, your rapier slides in like butter, and it, the illusion falls apart over it, and it's just a dead corpse that's just like sitting on your, your blade. Like a rotting, nasty corpse. I like fucking flick the blade, I cut its head off, and I just fucking scream. Bust through the door back into the entryway, and I start heading downstairs. Like, <laughs> go. Yeah, what's going on? He fucking imitated my goddamn wife, and I just bust through the next door. Oh, I just start fuck. heading downstairs. <laughs> He knows what she looks like. Now he fucking knows she knows he knows who she is. Like he is oh man mad. He is more mad. Like like I said, he you're he's more mad than you guys have ever seen him. You've seen him peeved, but this is a personal slight. This is what his quest was from day one was to find her. And it was just dangled in front of him like a piece of cheese. And now he's out for blood. Oh, he's shit. just storming downstairs. He's just like, Bendita, come on. He's, RC, yeah, he's, he's Cole, going Cole. off full cock. Like he's he's out <laughs> for blood now. R RC Cole is about to, and Haley just runs after Borkin. 
Okay. Just like, <laughs> like, okay, you, no, 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 Borkin? Get out of my fucking way. No. I'm going to kill his ass now. No, we, we can't fight him here. We're on his turf. He's like, slows his steps a second, and he goes, this is something I can't forgive, Les. I know, but you, you can't do this now, tonight. We, we're not ready if we were to even do this. You're going to get yourself killed, and, and you could turn into a fucking husk. I never remember then, would I? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't remember anything. He slows his steps and he stops for a second and his just arms just weakly like drop to his sides as he just drops to his knees and he just breaks down into tears and he can't like move as he's just completely overtaken by emotion. He just cries. Haley comes over and hugs him. I know how it, you feel wanting revenge. Trust me, I know because I've seen my entire clan killed by a group of vampires. And trust me, I I know I want to kill every single one of them, but there's a time and a place and we'll get him, okay? That is a cruel trick. Really cruel trick of him. And we knew he would pull something like this. I like look up past you and I was like, if you're watching me right now, no. I will be the one that finishes you. You kind of hear the howling of the wind that passes through the castle kind of like beckons at you. I like stand up and I was like, I think our work here is done. Let us go. All right, let's get our C and Elizabeth, and we'll leave. We won't stay. I wasn't going to get any fucking sleep tonight anyway, so let's go. Let's, let's get, get back home. Walking let's back, trying to compose myself as best I can to, like, meet with the rest of the group. And I was like, hey, just don't, just don't, don't tell them I, don't tell I, them I cried. I, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Look, we'll just say that, you know, we got... Really, really angry, but I, I won't say anything about you crying. You oh, have my you. you have my I word. Hey, we rangers gotta stick together. Oh, I've always liked you. <laughs> Besides, you tell anyone you saw me cry, I told you I'd kill you. Oh yes, it is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to the common room and I tell RC we're we're leaving tonight. Pack your shit. Oh, and, and tell Elizabeth to get her ass down here. I don't care what she's doing. We I are like start walking around the under areas, shouting in my mind, "Elizabeth, let's go! Elizabeth, let's go!" Hopefully, like one of these times, I catch her. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elizabeth, you could faintly hear the the callings of Morkins in the floor below you. <laughs> Okay, I'm. I'm gonna DM you something later, Muff. Okay. That I do in this time, but then I'll pick my stuff up and start heading down that way. Okay. Is it something that needs to be acted out, or is? <laughs> uh, not not right this second. I don't okay. think. Okay. Yeah. I think this time. Okay, cool. So yeah, you make your way back down. You, uh, yeah, it's a giant circle. Can't go that way. <laughs> uh, oh, I need you on me different layer. Oh, you guys are still on the other map, huh? Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I was doing a whole scene down here working. <laughs> I had the whole thing ready for you. Oh yeah, no, I've been looking at black this whole time. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Theater of the mind. 
theater to the mind, everybody who's watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, just just imagine it, everybody. It's cool. <laughs> I oh, they probably get his whole well, map. They they all seen what was going on. <laughs> you were in this room working. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay yeah so yeah i was just i was just theater of the mind you know what i'm saying hey that's cool it sounded <laughs> it legit work. it didn't matter like, i'm used to playing that shit <laughs> perfect okay i live most of my life in my head so it's all good <laughs> <laughs> so yeah at least don't ask about mine then yeah, yeah. so a little bit of here is a very how do i put this it's a very loud, very strong knock that rattles the entire doorway. Okay. I don't know how else to describe it. Because RC, when he's making a very prominent knock, not a polite knock, it shakes the door. Like, almost oh, off I the already, hinges. I walked down to the message. I'm right here. Hey. Oh, well, because Haley told yeah, me to come. Yeah, because I came back screaming in my head, just like, Elizabeth, yeah, we're probably fucking like, leaving. I probably like, like ran yeah. into you, I came up the stairs. Try to see it playing out. Um, we're, we're leaving. Um, yeah. let's just say a line was crossed. I do see, uh, I see that Fortune, obviously, like, being not quite himself. Everything to that Fortune? Barely contained rage. He's just like, he used my fucking wife as an illusion. If it wasn't for Haley, I'd be out there slitting his throat right fucking now. He'd be dead. Right I right see. Now. Strahd and his many practical jokes. Ah, 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 RC, ah. RC, that's not funny. That is a cruel thing to do to a person. Yes, he sat a dummy up in the rafters and had it swing down to attack me. I'm sorry that happened, Morton. Let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah. If anything, it's just strengthened my resolve. He'll be a dead man before we're done here. Would you like to see the dummy? It still has a skeleton attached to it. Um, no, RC, but... Thank you for that offer. We're gonna go back home and to the mansion. And, and, um, yeah. How quickly and of what direction would you like to take? The direct route or indirect route? Okay, seriously, how much exploring did you do while we were eating dinner? At that point, RC pulls out a piece of paper and you hear it. <laughs> Holds up a map. That later. I'm like, all right, we'll lead the fucking way then. Fastest way out. We're leaving now. Fastest way out. <laughs> yeah, lead the fucking way. <laughs> yeah. Haley also looks at Fuzzball and goes, Fuzzball, bring the ripped dress. <laughs> Haley has she's plans for that thing boy. now. <laughs> like, she was gonna leave that dress all torn up. No, she has plans for it now. The most Probably direct way out of the castle is also the fastest, but may not be accomplishable by all here. It may take me several trips to transport all of you. Uh, RC, safest, most direct route, which we can go together. How's that? That would be down the main stairs and out the front door. Otherwise, I would have suggested that I have the ability to climb down the wall at the greatest of ease. I could carry you all one by one. You can't carry Bandita or Spot. Well, in that case, you missed a session because I played Ragdoll, that poor cat. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yes, um, stairs? And out. And hopefully we can get across that drawbridge. Very well. Give me a moment. At which point you hear some slight banging and ratcheting as he puts everything back in his bag that he's pulled out. Gears up. Checks his gear. Looks over at Borkin. 
on purposely reaches over, grabs the pike net, and hands it to Borkin. He uh, d- he just takes it and like slams it onto the ground and like looks at it. He's like, "This is that net thing you was telling me about, yeah?" Yes. Well, I can throw it and it'll stop someone up. I am not sure if it is capable of being thrown, but it would certainly, as you would say, mess someone up. All right. Thank you. And he uh, slides it on next to his, he slides it on his back for uh, use in case it's necessary. So yeah, what, what, uh, what do you guys That was my clearer version of trying to make Borkin feel better. <laughs> Yeah, it was a robot though, so like he didn't really get what he was trying to do. He was just like, "Oh, no, I don't and, trust me." Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Like, he, yeah, I mean, no, like, I was just like, do I was you really to, like, want a hug from RC? Because it won't yeah, help no, much. no, I get you. Like, I was feeling where you were coming from, like out of piece, like a player, like as a player, I was just like, "Oh, that's nice." But then Borkin's just like, "This is a fucking spear, dude." Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to stick this Pikes in his aren't neck. Exactly I just spears, can't right but you know what now. I mean. No, I know, I know, you know what I mean. He's just like right, 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 right. doesn't use pikes either, so he's he's an archer. You know, he's not. He, he's like. Yeah, I mean, this technically, is, this I could trim it down to a spear, spear but I don't think it would work as well. Well, it would be awesome if it was like just a net that I could like have in something that when I was swinging a sword, I could hit release on it and it could grapple him. Because, like, the spear, I already looked at it. Like, I've tried to use it when you gave it to me before. And I get disadvantages on it across the board. Ooh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Yeah, so, like, I just, uh, it's like a plus three with me to hit with that thing. So, I just, it's not viable for me to use. Uh, But if it was something. Honestly, it was parts of bit and pieces that I fit together. I could really fucking do some dope shit with. Like, if you can come up with something with a light finesse weapon, Sporkin will definitely use it. <laughs> All right, I'll we find some more stuff I could use, definitely. Yeah, most definitely. I will, like, I've been like already you guys, on, it, like, like, bring you things. Literally anything not with. nailed down, grab it. I could probably use it. Yeah, that's, a, that's why he's just like, eh. the only reason I didn't take that statue is because they said don't no, take it. But that was my thought with it. I was just like, we have dude that builds stuff. This is a bunch of silver. Let's bring it. And they're like, don't fucking bring that. And I was like, yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so as uh, RC gets to the door with uh, Spot oh. directly behind in tow. Are we walking through the chapel? Uh, RC would stop and go, would you like to leave at least part of the way unnoticed? I found a path that would allow us to do so, as long as we are quiet. That didn't answer the question. Yeah, are we, go, are we going through the chapel? See, no? if you Most had to go through the chapel to get here, route quickly. Then we shall take the path that I took to get here. It will be the safest and fastest. Does it go through the chapel? It does not, but it does go past the bride's chambers. Kaylee just does it go palms. past the maid's chambers? Bride's, I said bride's. I yeah, I know that, but does RC, it go past the maid's chambers? Did you find the maid's chambers? I found a path that would likely lead to the maid's chambers, but it was highly unusual. Used and unadvisable to traverse without further detail. You checking. see, like a glare going across uh, Borkin's eyes, and then he like looks at everybody, and he just shakes his head. He's like, "I'm sorry," and he just starts heading off in the direction of the maid's chambers. Haley <laughs> follows like, Borkin. But you oh, don't. God damn it! Because I have to lead you. Well, no, yeah, this is like at like I'm assuming that we're at the junction by now. That oh, goes. No, you're I, just I, like I, that, I, I, I literally said I stopped at the door, out of the room. That's why I. I was okay, that. well then I'm just oh. then I look at you and I say, "Well, take us to the junction of the maids' chambers, then, and we're gonna go that way." 
he's going to do something to me. I'm going to do something to him. If I can't kill him, then we're going to take, at least we're going to take Trude out of this place. Or at least have a word okay. with her. He, he wouldn't give us that. I'm going to take that. Okay. No, he probably did just want to enrage you. But, yeah, I don't, I don't want to stay here. It's just this place is just, it just sits bad for me. I didn't want to stay here the night, but I only agreed to it because you two had plans. And she points at Borkin and Elizabeth. Yeah, my plans went to shit. All right. Obviously, it's fine. Plans go awry. I mean, like, how, how many of our plans have gone right since we got here? Like, like almost all of them? Two of them. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so, like, we've had a very high success rate on our plans. We have. We have. So, it, it's just bound that something's going to go wrong eventually. So, this was just the eventually. So, we will take it. We roll with it. We get the fuck out of here. But we'll look for the maid first, and then we leave. We're not staying the night. We ain't accepting an invitation. I mean, even if Strahd showed up right now and apologized, no, we're not staying. We angry Arcee's house guests. already out the door in the hallway waiting for you guys. Guys, I want to bring something up, though. What? Strahd hasn't done anything mean to me. In fact... His wife was incredibly helpful. Maybe we should change the strategy to instead of marching into Strahd and saying, what did it kill you? And try to insult him. He seems to be targeting you guys. He hasn't actually done anything to me directly. It's more of, he lied to my fucking face. I like. Also, looking. he treats his people like shit. He's living like, a look at Elizabeth life and not taking care of them. They're not his people. Well, he's supposed to be their leader. Leaders lead, not suck up life from them. I don't think he wanted any of that. I no one in this castle is here you. involuntarily. They all chose to follow Strahd. I look at Elisabetta and, like, in a malice that you haven't seen since the time I tried to kill you last. And I was like, it's not the fucking time, vampire. We'll figure this out later. What's well, not the time to do this fucking kill either? Calm down. Let's think I'm about this. I'm not going to kill him. We're gonna go I find promise. the maid. I would like to find the maid, though, and save her if we can. If she doesn't come, she doesn't come. That's fine. The point but that I'm like making is... He's provoking you guys because you've been provoking him. Him. He's <laughs> working starts to be like, what have I done to provoke him? And then he just like stops for a second. And he's just like, oh, all right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I would come with but you. But at the same time, he's still like, he's just like, there's a fucking line, dude. There's a line. I would come with you. Cross. And I would help, but. Let's just be cautious on how much we... At the moment, he's just... created a cool joke for some reason. Maybe he was hurt... by the insults at the dinner table. I don't know. Okay, I admit, I could have been less... drunken... and nicer. I, I wore the dress! And you know me, I hate dresses. It's just, it was a really big step, I know. Yeah, it was a very big step. Now, yes, I know as soon as we got upstairs, I puked it up, but let's face it, I'm a lightweight. I drank a whole bottle of wine, Elisabetta. And also, after what happened with Buzzball, unless the food's made in front of me, I ain't eating it. I'm just saying that this isn't some pussy mayor in a town that we can just kill when we want to. So let's make oh, good I... choices when we're here. Oh, yes, I'm I understand not... that. I understand that. I just I see where you're coming down from, but... from that. Uh, yes, I was about to say, you. she saved, saved me probably from a, a terrible fate. 
but they be that as it may, I would like to still do what we can here before we escape into the night. Let's start to look to the maids. Maybe brought you after with John, we can drop to your bird. Oh, that would be awesome. That would make me feel so much better. Yes. You can and go he just trap, turns and starts to follow a <laughs> RSD like, all right, to the maid's quarters. Haley looks at Elizabetta. If we can find a bird for him to drop kick, we may have As to go get him away, a rat. He goes, no ravens. <laughs> I'll make an illusion for him to feel better or something. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, because I, I can't fake that shit like you can. Um... <laughs> I just see Haley trying to like hold a rat down and like tie wings on it. <laughs> this is an illusion, right? <laughs> this is an illusion, right? <laughs> Everyone's just like, no, no, Haley, that's that's not an illusion. <laughs> the heart's in the right place. Yeah, the heart would be in the right place, and Haley would actually do. <laughs> and Borkin would just be like, I'm going to drop kick that bird. He's like talking in Elizabeth's head like, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but we the assholes. She means well. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, which way are you guys going? Uh, Mercy, I'm, I'm leaving it up to you. I'm going to I take them back down the path that I took them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take them uh, uh, back to the way that I found, which was um, back through the secret passageway uh, down uh, past the, uh, I think it was the two suits, if I ever call, and the servant door and the bride's door. By the way, I still only have two first level spell slots left, guys. I have the two spell slots yeah, as well, and We've... a couple. Yeah, we we got to probably a little bit like little cautious on this and not touch anything we're not supposed to. So Haley is going to be like on alert, looking around, making sure they don't alert anything. Oh, I got it. <laughs> what you moving? I got it. Sorry. <laughs> you guys got you guys got bows. That's all that matters. Yeah, we do have the bows. Okay, so this is the junction that he was talking about, and RC would tell you that uh, in a quieted voice that over here it is the uh, unused passageway that he found that probably leads to the maids. Yep, right there. Uh, cobweb filled, dangerous, probably booby trapped, and likely unsafe. He'd uh, quietly. Uh, 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 do the shushing and point that over here is the entrance into the bride's chambers. I, like, take a deep breath and I, like, start to talk to each person in turn, like, go one after the other. Wait, no, it says I can talk to anybody within 30 feet. So I just say it to everybody in their head, be like, all right, well, we all right, we're trying to do this. I would like to. It might be dangerous, though. I can't put any aid to do it. Is it a door right here? Or is it just like a hallway? It's a, it's, it's a slide door. You kind of push it and it slides open. I'm assuming to the side, not like door open, open. You kind of... Yeah, like a like Japanese a, door. It's a secret uh, oh, passageway. Wait, Total I, secret oh, passageway hey, door. I, 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 uh, right. Everyone, uh, let's, let's back up to the back of the hall. Okay. And then I'm going to mage hand the door open. Oh, yeah, oh I, I already idea. opened it. I, yeah, no, I, I I tell you guys that I've already opened it. And oh. I stuck my head through and looked in. Okay, so that's not the part you're worried about. You're just worried about the no, hallway. I'm worried about the hallway itself. I determined that exactly right outside the door where I stuck my head out and looked over each way that it was not trapped there, but it doesn't mean the rest of the hallway isn't uh, trapped. And RC would, would remind you about the very unfriendly spiders he found. And considering the hallway is so web covered because it is so unused, it is either structurally unsafe or might have some unwanted pests within the ca castle hallway. Wait, how do we know that the maid chambers is back there? 
Because it's a servant's passage. But they clearly aren't using it. No, they are not. How but many people again, are they entertaining these days? Exactly. That's the other thing you got to remember, is that we are probably the first guest this castle has had in quite some time. And since nobody else really eats food, needs cleaning or otherwise... There's not so really we, any use for a maid's chamber. So why are we going in there? Well, because he he's sure... He's sure... That this leads to the maid's chamber. So as far as our characters know, he told us this goes to the maid's place. You know what I'm saying? You mean, meaning there's another convinced. there's another way to their room, and this is like a back way to their room? Kinda. He's thinking because this hallway that we're in also leads to the back way out of the the sis the wives chamber. It is a logical next step that this also is the back way to the maid's chambers because the maid's chambers would be connected to all like all the secret passageways because in old castle times, uh, that was how maids went around. They weren't supposed to be seen by the royalty and everybody else. They were supposed to just be there and do their job. So they would have little back corners and sconces that they would go through and like like uh like there is like most castles have multiple secret passageways from the kitchen and the laundry out into rooms and such like that specifically just so the royalty doesn't ever see the maids and the servants yeah the russian royalty was very very staunch about that you should see the servants paths that were in the russian palaces because they weren't even full size proper doors they were crawl doors i'm not even kidding you yeah, there were so, ones that they're like a foot across and they had to like go through sideways with like plates of food and shit yeah. from room to room. Haley is going to quickly ask RC. Um, RC, you're saying this is possibly the back way, right? This is not the exit, but this is a path that, and RC would point to Borkin, believes leads to the maids he wishes to see. Okay. We should probably go through the front way and not the back way, just so we don't scare anybody, because we don't want to raise any alarms. Anybody has an idea uh, yeah, where I'm that is? I'm aware of the front entrance to the servant's quarters. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, Shrod did say we could explore the castle at our leisure, as long as we don't go into the bottom levels beyond where we had dinner. True. So, technically, we could go look for the main way into the main chambers, or we could actually go through the back way. I'm going to leave this to a group decision. I know Borkin just really wants to find the one maid, and then we all get the fuck out of here. I step into the hallway. Okay, uh, as you step in there... Th it's okay. so covered in cobwebs, like you can only see a few feet in front of you. However, you do notice a slight glowing coming from, from this side of the room. I don't know. Borkin's muted if he's not somebody else. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not muted. I'm just talking to my roommate. We're oh. trying to figure out about food. Um, mm, food. Uh, I want to motion back to Borkin. Fortune, you want to come check uh, this yeah, for me? Yeah, no, I was, uh, I was gonna walk through it also, so I'm already, yeah. I'm already right with you. Like, my plan was to take out my torch and touch it to the spider webs, uh, and, which will ignite all of them and make them all burn out. It's true. So, I would assume, Elisa Betta, you walk out of the room before Borkin has. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but motion to him. Okay. Um, I was going to have him cut it and then Eve watch it with the torch, but that's a way better idea. Uh, sorry, what was that? I was going to have you like, cut a path over to the side, but then you walk up with the torch and I'm like, yeah, do that instead. <laughs> yeah, I was just like with the torch and they just start doing circles around and just burning all the webs off and letting them just fire of tracers just run through the hallway. Like, oh, it worked. Haley's gonna follow them. RC! I got my rapier in one hand and the torch in the other. Okay. Um, so 
yeah, as you do that, the the cobwebs slowly start to ignite, and then they just rapidly start to burn. And this hallway is pretty much cleared out now. You can definitely see uh, working mm -hmm. as you step into the hallway after it's it's done burning. You can definitely see a staircase that leads up and down. It's like a circular staircase, and you just see the edge of it. It goes both ways. Uh, to your left, uh, you see a grand hall that is choked with dust, which is probably all ashes now, uh, <laughs> stretched into darkness ahead. Uh, and oh, sorry, no, that's enough. The light that I saw initially was over here. Yes, it is still faintly glowing from that direction. Uh, yeah, at, at the other end, you see a high dome ceiling that caps a 30 foot wide octagonal room. Um, and then see another corridor that leads off this direction. Or can I think your maids be maybe to our right in the stairs? No, all right. The boss will follow you. I take up That's the rear as they go that way. And just kind of keep watching that way as everybody goes through the door out behind me. Hey, yeah, would they be up or down? I don't know. Do we want we, it? We were, we're up can there, Can I reach right? out with my mind yeah, and up. see if I can touch anybody's mind that is within 30 feet of us from where we're at right here? I don't want to say anything, but I just want to touch it to see if I can feel anybody's minds other than ours. It's not creepy at all. Within 30 feet, you said, right? Yeah, so like if there's anybody in the room like directly above us or directly below us, I should be able to feel it. Okay. Uh, let me add a... That could backfire. Oh, yeah, totally could. I just had an idea. Hey, hey, you forgot oh. your damn wolf. My wolf's with oh. me. Who's that oh. I'm referring to Ben Gita. Wolf. Look down here. Look, okay. distracted, all right? Right. Ban Bandita will automatically follow eventually. Borkin is with me. I, I, Borkin and Bandita are like at the hip. Like I would, I thought for a second that that was my wolf, but then I was like, it's <laughs> white. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, yeah. And also, it's funny That's... that you made her small because she's. Not. <laughs> yeah, I did that for That's the ease of small movement. hallway. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, just for like token purposes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so she yeah, be the same size as Spot. I put a 30 foot aurora around you and you do not detect any, any other beings. Mines. Okay. As I touch everybody and I'm like, is it doesn't seem to be anyone within 30 feet of us up or down. How long does that so, last? Uh, uh, that is my racial ability. Okay. So you, so you just spin it. I can action do that whenever I want. Okay. No, yeah. It's, it's not even an action. I can just. Well, it's not like to a, I can. It's not like no, a lasting it's just, I can use it like speech. No, I can just use it as speech. I can just talk to people in their minds, or I can try and touch minds that are around me. So, like, what it is is anything within thirty feet of me, I can talk to it in its mind, even if it doesn't have a language. Well, no, it's as long as it shares, as long as it has the ability to speak one language, I can speak to anybody in their mind, as long as they're within thirty feet of me. Okay. It's not as good as some of the other telepathic ones. But its cool part is that I don't need to see it, and I don't need to be in the same room as it. Like other ones, they have like 60 feet, or I could like link with them permanently, like the Kalashdar is like within 60 feet, within sight. Uh, but then I can link with them permanently and be able to talk with them for however long I want, so wherever can, I'm at. So you can but basically like with him, detect people like within 30 feet around you at all times. I don't think. You yeah, can I can people. just. It's, I don't think it's detect people, but. What I was trying to do was try to initiate conversation with people within 30 feet of me. Okay, I got you. Yeah, no. And then seeing who I could touch, and if I could touch more than the people that are in my group, that would let me know that there's more people within 30 feet of us than just our group. Just gotcha. walk around by that. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. I was wondering. Hey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, just like, hey. <laughs> so it'd be like a sonar type thing. I didn't, if it was a lasting effect. Yeah, it's like a know, sonar. It's like a mental sonar. <laughs> okay. 
I was, I was going to say, since you've already seen said girl in sight, that maybe you could just send yeah, messages to them. Yeah, like, I'm looking them. for her specifically. Like, I'm looking for Gertruda. Right. Like, just like yeah. Gertruda. 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 Just, just like the whole time I'm walking minds. around, just like walking through, just like looking through minds, feeling minds, and being like, Gertruda? Nope. Okay. Gertruda? <laughs> and then <laughs> Haley's like, I'm not Gertruda! <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry about that. I would say that if the wording of that, you should probably like target it because you're targeting a creature. Yeah, I think... yeah, like I'm looking specifically for Gertruda. Yeah, yeah so it wouldn't be that you're just peeing anybody that's around you. You're but like, I'm just trying to get Gertruda, so I'm like yeah. just keeping going on like Gertruda, Gertruda, Gertruda until eventually like I get Gertruda. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I was just wondering like how how that worked because that could come into play. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if- that's why I was trying to I was trying to word it like how it made sense because I was like I don't alert any. It doesn't say I alert anyone or they know that I'm there. But, like, the specific person I'm looking for, I just talk to if they're within 30 feet of me. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking for Gertruda, and I'm trying to talk to her the whole time. I, yeah. I have a question. While they're inspecting the staircase, Haley's going to look down the hallway um, that they're standing in. Is there, like, anything that catches her eye or anything like that? Like, just... um, So you see pretty much the same thing. Uh the the only way that looks like it's not darkness ahead is the the stairwell over here. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I do you have night vision up to was 60 up or feet. Down? Yeah. Uh, we talk- don't want to go too far down. Talking about like where you guys just came from or the stairwell up ahead. Uh he was saying like where the light was from. He was like, "Wait, which way is the light coming from? Up or down?" So, at least about I was going to Tell at least a better way what you see when you step in there, real quick. Okay. Okay. So then let's stay with what Haley is looking for first, then, because I assume that what he's looking for is what we're looking for. So we should get the extra information. Because you held off on it, which is one of your DM traits that I've noticed that you uh, let us run everything else out, and then you get to the meat and bones. <laughs> yeah, I gotta see what you guys are gonna do before I give out too much information. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It's so just, let's let's do everything and then see what's going on. It's like, well, we got a spiral staircase, and it's like, well, what's off to our left? You know, that's what I'm curious about right well, now. Well, she like, he said that there was a big domed room that we could see at the end of the hallway. It is like dusty, yeah. Yeah. Very dusty. Which is oh my god. If this was realistic, which please don't make it so <laughs> uh, that would have created a dust explosion. Oh, shit. That's probably true, but it's probably not flammable dust. It's probably just like dirt. No, no, it doesn't matter <laughs> if it's flammable dust. The temperature change, like how a dust explosion works is anything that makes particles in the air that heats to a certain level, if it reaches past the certain point of heat, which would be high enough with a flame going by it, it causes a dust explosion, which causes all the molecules within it to react and ignite at the same time, yeah. causing all of the... Re- uh, dust in the room to uh, well, rapidly ignite. It was simultaneously. Co- if if it was like actual webs, maybe, but it was like cobwebs. So I, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's too much. No, no. I get. I get, how, <laughs> I get I'm I'm happy it didn't do that because that would have just blown this whole side of the building out. Like, yeah. <laughs> let's let's not do but, that. No, it definitely would have. I mean, it's a plan for, for later, sure. but you know, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We, we know there's a stairwell that way, but like Haley wants to see what's the what's about the dome and everything it's like we're, we're here we're on this floor up in the air Wait, is, <laughs> is, is this dark by the way uh Haley has night has a dark vision up to 60 feet i, I do have a too but also. two of our people don't oh, if the torch is out it's fine then yeah so okay let me tell you what you see at least about these since you're already in the room and then this this might clear things up a bit so uh <laughs> As you enter this area, you are bathed in the flickering glow of a thousand candles set into irregularly spaced alcoves along the spiral staircase that hugs the outer wall. Each candle stands above the brass, above a brass nameplate, some faded with centuries, others gleaming as if installed yesterday. A mosaic floor sits at the foot of the tower that rises above you, and a spiral staircase rises slowly, hugging the outer wall. 
in the center of the room, another set of stairs leads down. Oh shit. Up and down, guys. Where are we going? Um, one second. I'm looking for a quarter. <laughs> Where's my D4 at? <laughs> It was tails down. All right. Start heading down. Yep, down. I rolled an even number. Even number meant down. Good. I want to go down too. Okay. Um, so. Haley does take a minute to remind everyone that we cannot go too far down. We do not want to piss off Strahd. We're at the top yeah. floor right now, so we still got some yeah, ways to go right. down. So we went up. You guys are going quite. down, down. You guys went down one level. So oh god, you, we went up multiple levels, though, right? Yeah, you just went back down one level to get to where you're at now. Yeah, so, so we still have some room. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you guys. Start we're still like within Haley's the bounds, or we're breaking sure. all the rules. Maybe that's good. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Technically, we went up and then down, so it's even. Yeah, you guys worry, are. Strahd is fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you set, uh, as you all set foot into the stairs, you're plunged into darkness as the candles uh, on the wall each go out at once. Uh, your eyes. Does my are... torch also go out? Uh, yes. Every everything goes out. Uh, oh God damn it! And the only light left in the tower is the dull red glow of the heart above and a faint flicker right next to you. As you read the nameplate, you realize it carries your own names. The candles burn out or the candle burns, but is a, but the flame is feeble and it seems ready to flicker out at any moment, much like your own life. God, Strahd is jokes God. again. Jesus. Oh, damn son of a bitch. What's Wait, going on? Okay. Funny uh, man. Let's, Funny man. Let's, let's, uh, let's go back into the hallway. Yeah, this I don't know if this is the right way. Yeah, yeah uh, the, the, the back. Going. No, Orkin, we do not split the party. Um, Remember I, the laws we just sat down for RC. Orkin, I don't oh, think I this just... is the maid's chamber. All right. It's Assume... pretty fucked up maid's chamber if it is. As you turn yeah. away, Haley, uh, next to your candle, there is a candle that is out, but the glow from your candle s slightly goes over it, and you see the name Talon on the candle next to yours. No, 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 no. I see any you other son familiar of a names? Bitch, Ma. What's that? <laughs> Does Haley see any other? <laughs> yeah. Does Haley see any other names besides Talons? Uh, the the <laughs> like flame... she knows that name. <laughs> yeah. The the flames that are left in the the tower are so dull. That's the it just barely glows over that nameplate. It, it doesn't extend much farther. So what right about that? Haley She's feels a heavy metal that. hand oh, on her sure. shoulder. Joke. As sure. RC goes, I thought you wanted to leave. The exit is this way. Yeah. Just all of her hairs are standing up on end as an angry cat. <laughs> I'm just like arms out trying to find my way out and just run directly into Haley. Just, oh, oh, oh. For, ah! is it a wolf or is it you, Haley? That's me. This, sorry. Uh, just, uh, I, I saw something. I, I saw. She looks like see? she's on the edge of having a panic attack. I um, like uh, grab her arms and I feel like how tense she is. Oh, what's going on there? I saw my I father's can't see name. Anything. I saw what? my father's name. In this fucking castle. He was next to my candle. Let's go fucking kill him. <laughs> no, no, no. 
No, 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 no. No, they, they can't be tied the same. They can't. They can't be tied together. So, back down in the hallway where I am, just outside <laughs> of the entrance into the secret passage. Yes. If I try lighting a torch, does it work? Yeah. Yeah, it lights right up. Okay, good. Then from where I am, I will signal to them at the end of the passageway, you know, over here, over here, over here. Say, all right, Haley. Come on, we'll talk about this. Me and you got a lot to talk about after this. Let's yeah, find let's... this maid and get out of here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I just, I, I, I kind of take one of my claws, the one that I kind of used against uh, RC earlier, and I just kind of run it along the wall with the claw out a little bit as if like. Trying to I'm resharpen scratching. it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's like she's trying to resharpen her claws a little on the wall. Like, ooh, Fair enough. she angry. <laughs> she she is anxious, angry, and pissed. So yeah, as you guys I'm head... looking at your tail, I can see that you're not in the right state of mind. <laughs> your just tail is just going crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, that tail is fucking twitching like an angry cat. <laughs> <laughs> like Tal Tabaxi should totally have a negative to uh, like uh like deception <laughs> roll just because it's tail that's like uh oh my God. All the time. Like, <laughs> there was one of my favorite Calvin and Hobbes comics. He's playing <laughs> poker. Uh, like I don't know if you guys know what Calvin and Hobbes is, but yes, a, I do. A, and, yes, and then his pet, his like stuffed tiger, which he thinks is real, and mm -hmm. so he's playing poker, and then uh he's playing then. Hobbs draws a card and then Calvin goes fold and then he goes ah and then he draws a card again and Calvin goes okay all in and then Hobbs is like how do you always know but it shows his tail just going crazy in the corner and then still <laughs> and then crazy in the corner <laughs> so as you guys yep. he's like, go... it's intuition what can I say <laughs> does you guys head down to meet with Spot uh, working are you still like Calling out for Gertruda, I imagine you still. Probably yeah, I'm are. constantly doing that. Like every. Oh every, yeah, like, no. Uh, eight, uh, as like soon as they eight, enter basically. back into the secret passageway section, RC has already got the torch next to his face to the shh. I like reach out my torch and touch mine to his and relight mine. I'm like, this fucking bullshit. Yeah, he's he's a. Uh, this is all mental, right? Like telepathic. The uh, your. Yeah, mine's okay. telepathic. Okay, so yeah, you. You hear a faint voice back in your head say, who's there? Gertruda. Um, is this you? I've got some questions. Well, obviously it's her. So, Gertruda, I've got some questions for you. Do you want to be here? If not, um, we're going to get you out of here. As well, who, who are you? I'm the hunter in the woods. I've come here to save you. Well, where are you? I am <laughs> around, <laughs> on my way to you now. I know this is weird. I can speak to you in your mind. I get that. It's it's weird. Just fucking go with it. Is, well, uh, did mother send you? Okay, look. We talked to your mother, and we decided it was good to get you out of there. We don't have to take you back. That's fine. I don't have to take you back to her. You can stay with us if you want to. But I don't know if you want to be here. Well, where where would I go? Oh, I we live in Vlaki. But we don't live by your mother at all. Vlaki? Strahd wouldn't be happy with me. Well, Strahd's not going to be happy about a whole lot of things very soon here, darling. And I can assure you, It'd be better with us than it is with him. He says, well, how can I find you? Oh, I'll find you. Just tell me if you're in the maid's quarters. I am in the maid's quarters. But we're supposed to stay at night. Is there anyone there with you? Just, just one. Is she also... Uh, is she there willingly, or does she want to leave? Uh, I, right, I don't know. I, I assume she's here willingly. Sure. I have two options for you. Stand close 
to where the secret passageway out of the maid's corridors is and tell me exactly where she is or slit her throat and stay there with me. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm, she's so much bigger than I am. She doesn't really sleep. All right, that's fine. Tell me exactly where her? she is and stand next to the corridor. Tell me exactly where she is in relation to the door. Now, are you upstairs? I'm I'm on the, the second floor in the maid's quarters. I, I'm in a bed and is in a bed across from me to my left. Is she asleep? She, she doesn't really sleep. It kind of creeps me out. All right. Now, do as I say. Pretend, actually, that you've not even heard a thing. Stay exactly where you are, and just tell me exactly what the room is set up like, where she is at, where we're at, and where the secret passageway door is. Well, there's a door to my right. There's, uh, I'm in a bed. There's, there's a square room. There's eight beds. I am in the second one, directly in front of the door. She is in the third one across the room from me. So you're in the one closest to the door. Is this sort of like the one that I walked past? Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, you, you know that this is a room you've definitely walked past before. Damn it, son of a bitch. All right, fine. All right. Haley bugs Borkin, like, did you find her yet? I, like, look at everybody and say, I'm talking to her now. I'm coming up with a plan. She's in the bed net closest to the door. There is a maid there that she says seems to want to be here quite greatly. Uh, okay. We will probably have to kill her quietly Daily. and quickly. Barkin, why don't you just come into the secret passageway and we leave the way out? They the don't engine. sleep, she says. So she Which leaves leads me the to believe. Room. What? Do you know where the entry to the secret passageway is? It says yes, it's it's right outside the door. Well, just come here then. Did didn't you just have her leave? She's not supposed to leave the room at night. It doesn't matter. Just come here. If you're going to do what you're told all the time, you're not going to get saved. Now you come here, and we will save you. And so I like rush up the stairs to where where the edge of the secret passageway is to be ready with her on the other side of the door. Uh, so so where at on, on the stairs are you? Right next to wherever the secret passageway entrance is. I have no idea where that's at. Which is right here. Danny I was about to say, to uh, that's why I said just <laughs> quiet. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, so, like, yeah, I just, I go up right to the edge where the secret passageway is, and I'm just like, come on then. It's now or never. Well, that's that the case. RC douses his torch and suggests that you douse his so no extra light from our end goes into the room. Oh, yeah. So I hold my torch out to you and let you douse it for me because you're all metal. Yep. Just full on metal hand. Psst. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> just metal hand. Just psst. dousing the torch out. He says, okay, okay I'm, I'm up from my bed now. I'll try to be quiet. <laughs> and uh, as... You hear like a creaking in the the room next to you, and you hear a, a female voice say, "Protruda, where are you going? You know you're not supposed to leave at night." So I like, I like go under her head, and I was like, "Make whatever excuse you can, even if it is go to the chamber pots or something like that. It, you will be gone before they realize anything has happened." Says, uh, um, "I'm sorry, Helga. I just..." Thought I heard somebody outside. He says, we'll get out of the way, then I'll check it out. That's an awful excuse. <laughs> the she, worst use you can She is a kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you hear some footsteps? Do we up? hear that? Yeah. Uh, you, you can you can definitely hear the voices. It's, it's right in the room next to you. All right, so I... I kind of just scratch on the door a little bit. So she hears a scratching on the door. Okay. Uh, 
she you hear the foot, footsteps approach the door and she starts to open it. Haley have, puts Fuzzball readied, right in front of the door. I, like, was, I have ready to action as soon as mm-hmm. the door opens. Like knowing that it's not Gertruda, I want to grab them, yank them into the hallway, and stab them right through the neck as I well, go into the hallway and put them on the ground. Oh, I wasn't gonna like. And then, oh, and then oh, like, I lay in the ground. I like mm-hmm. in my in the in the heads of everybody else. I say, shut the door behind us, or or I just say, go get Gertruda. Let's go. Okay, so you're going to push the door open. Like it, it is a door that opens to the the inside of the room inside the hallway. I was going to put Fuzzball by the door and make him pretend that the wolf had gotten loose. When, but okay, I guess we're when going I, when with I, this one. When I see that, I want to telepathically shove her away from Borkin. Okay. Wait, so you guys are trying to keep me from killing her? Yeah! yeah. You guys could just tell me not to kill her. <laughs> you to, but then you said, like, you once you but, see her, you're going to do your action. And I'm like, God yeah, damn it. But, like, there's, we it all was like, heard these voices and her coming towards us. We have seconds to, like, quickly yeah. split hey, I don't you back and forth. We're talking yeah, I, should, I should assume that by this point. That's my fault. Yes. I, I should say, know you you're going to do that. You guess that by yeah. now. This is Borkin. Yeah. Right. Hey, my he's bad. I'm sorry. Haley's going to push Borkin away, put Fuzzball in front of the door, and she's going and Haley's gonna motion to everybody to back up into the darkness. Okay. Like, Just Fuzzball? Put Fuzzball, in, put Fuzzball in front of the damn door. Alright, and then I like I like as I go that and I'll be like, when she says it's a wolf, say you wanna come see the puppy. Okay, so as that happens, uh, I put the wrong token. So where are you guys at right now? Oh, this is important. <laughs> uh, I would say that we probably each backed out ten feet away from the entrance of the door, leaving uh, leaving Fuzzball, uh, pretending to look lost in the door frame. And since uh, I have the ability to speak with animals constantly, I uh, explicitly tell her what I told uh, Homegirl. And who we're looking for, and I assume that Haley explicitly told her what the plan was. Yeah. So okay. Like, so Haley, Haley's kind of like motioning everyone back slightly up the stairs, so that Fuzzball's the only one in the hallway, and Fuzzball's gonna do the lassie thing, where it's basically she's going to like kind of like look at them, whimper, do the tail between the legs, sad face, like please follow me, please follow me. Okay, so uh, the door opens. Uh, <laughs> is in Gurga true to say, Helga, what is it? What is it? And she kind of steps around. She's like, nothing, Gertrude, get back. She's oh, it's a puppy. Can I please see the puppy? says, no, Gertrude, get back. She kind of pushes the dog out of the door. She's like, let's take you to Strahd. And she steps out of the doorway. Right. As here. as as soon as she says Strahd, Fuzzball's going to growl. Okay. Uh, like, uh, angry growl. I was going to do. <laughs> okay. Just when, like, Arr. When Fuzzball starts to growl, I cast Suggestion. On the maid. Oh my god, we got a wizard. <laughs> Not a wizard, but you know, somebody that. <laughs> okay, it's, well, I actually make things easy so we don't die instantly. Cool. So, uh, okay. I'm going to suggest that Helga go back to her room and let, uh, let the other maid, I'm forgetting, Gertruda, that one. The one that we're here for. That one. Out. Okay. Let me roll this check real quick. <laughs> okay, you hear her say, Oh, what's wrong with you, mutt? And then you uh, like, Oh, what's that? <sighs> and she fails her saving throw. And she kind of goes into like a trance and then like, Steps out of the doorway back into the uh, 
the room and Gertrude kind of just stares at her as she walks out the doorway. I uh, immediately like get in Gertrude's head. And I was like, now's the time. Hurry up. Get on top of the big wolf. And I uh, like I uh, talked to Bandita. I was like, pick her up. And then she like goes up. Bandita goes up to the edge of the door and like kneels down. So Gertrude can easily like get up on her back. And then as soon as she's on her back, I like tell everybody it's like, time to fucking book it. Yeah, we're doing this. Okay, she we're does doing it. What Let's direction go. are you guys going? RC, that's up to you, honey. You better get yeah, us out of here. Yeah. Fast. Fastest way out <laughs> yep. now, bud. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll have to lead you. Yes, but <laughs> uh, obviously the quickly is also the quietly, as RC will, will warn you guys, we're going to go into some pretty sensitive areas. All right. So quietly. So we have to be very quiet. Time oh, time. God, he moved something. I can't see. <laughs> oh, okay, now we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Also, <laughs> dungeon master did a dungeon master move, and I like totally lost everything for a second. RC is now blind. <laughs> we can't see anything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys. In okay, so we head down this way. That did not work. I can't get down the stairs. Right, that's a dungeon master thing. Hold on, I'll wait. Let me go down to the uh, next. Floor. So many tabs in my way. Hold on a second. <laughs> you guys have went all up and down this place. <laughs> Propane! Yep. Better be ready. It's going to happen. Oh, boy. I'm scared. I'm scared oh, we are things are about chapel. to go to shit. No. Yeah, this is the chapel. Hold on. Oh, then he took it to the wrong page. Yeah. Nah, nah, we're... Bad Dungeon Master. Bad! Oh, I had to set everything up. <laughs> okay, there's two of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, wrong campaign for there be two of me. That's on Saturdays. <laughs> I thought that was also on Thursdays. No, we just played Saturday. Oh, uh, okay. So this you is more simulate room. This is where you guys uh, empty out to, uh, right over here. And you see the, the big stairwell that you recognize from when you came in. Okay, so when we get to this point, move spot out of the way here. RC is going to stop and take a minute, and he's going to point to the two armors and uh, mention to Haley really quick that this is the two same armors that he told her about. And um, he's going to try and do a quick mending on the nameplates to see if he can't get the names back. Just so we can get that little bit of information that could be handy. Okay. As soon as she see RC start to do that, she's going to go, RC, we don't have time for this! We gotta go! Just be quick! Borgen's just like, well, it's just, this is going to take a second. I'm interested as well. Are these, are these armors similar to what we've been seeing in the entire castle, or are those statues before? Uh, those were statues before. This is actually sets of, of armor. Okay. Uh, yeah, and 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 RC will, will will mention the mural on the ceiling also, which also seems to be some kind of half important bit of information. So whoever these Suda's armors people are supposed to represent could have something to do with the mural also. So just two things of information that could be handy. What's the mural? Okay, so I'll explain all this one at a time because there's, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. so uh, yeah, sorry, you're good. Uh, so, okay, so inside of here, you see above you, um, the fresco is up here somewhere. Uh, okay. Um, so massive stairs rise to a landing 20 feet wide by 40 feet long. The stone arches support a ceiling covered with frescoes 20 feet overhead. The frescoes depict armored knights on horseback. Their finer features faded beyond recognition. Dust floats in the air here. 
at each end of the south wall, a staircase rises into darkness, which is where you guys just came from. Uh, between the staircases are twin alcoves, each one containing a standing suit of armor covered with dark stains. Each suit of armor clutches a mace, the business end of which is shaped like a dragon's head. Words engraved on the arches above the suits of armor have been scratched out, which is what R.C. is mending. Um, so how, what's the range on mending? Touch? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's okay. touch. So, R.C., as you move up to touch the... Okay, yeah. So, as you touch, plate. touch the nameplate... Uh... The... The plate armor that stands before you springs forward, flowing its arms and wielding its mace. Uh, you can make a DC-14 deck save for me. I was gonna say I'm just gonna step aside and let that thing hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens. Can I very help fast. him? Not on this one. It's, this is a, a trap. <laughs> you triggered. I didn't check for traps on this. So that's fair. <laughs> uh, deck save, right? Yes, DC 14. That'll do it. Uh, so just like I described, just watch my character just sidestep it and like a bad, you know, like comedy movie, just... <laughs> huh. Yeah, so they're, they kind of act like just metal puppets. It's just going like, like this. Like standing in front of you as you step out of the way. And uh, after that happens, you hear a loud, booming voice coming from the top of the stairs. Cheer, Gertruda! <laughs> And time yeah. to go, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, we'll find that bit out go, later. Go, go, go. <laughs> so, this is not the best idea, but RC's been planning for this. That's why he's been working on Spot's armor. He climbs on the back of Spot, who is faster than him without his spells. And uh, they're going to now mount rush. So, basically, uh, whoever's on. Borkins, Wolf, and me, we're going to make a double dash for the door. I hop on my wolf. Um, I like motion to everybody. We're like, get on, motherfuckers. He's faster than we are. I don't know. How how, how many do you think your wolf can, uh, can can carry? I'm thinking like two because he's like a horse. Two I'm people tiny. don't match the horseman. I'm tiny. What do you mean you're tiny? You are not tiny. You're a dwarf. I am. He's tiny. Half I'm like Plane. I'm two and a half Halfling. feet tall. Small. Okay, that's small. That's not, not tiny. Small is different. I'm, okay, so yes. Tiny to a normal what? sized human being. What's the uh basically that means you're wolf to carry two normal people and a halfling. And probably not reduce speed. What's okay, you guys' so movement? Haley on the and mounts? me jump on my wolf with Gertruda and then Elizabeth jumps on your the tiger with you. Well, what's what's the movement okay. of your mounts? Uh, fifty feet. Fifty. Uh, mine's forty. I have to move thirty-five. Yeah, my so. wolf speed is fifty. Wait, we, so the, agility, but that's only for a sprint, and that's this, this three mounts, right? Mm. Technically, I could get on top of Fuzzball two? and let you There's just and, two, uh, and let uh. Uh, and let the other two jump on top. Yeah, uh, you, you should ride fuzzball. I was going to say, yeah, let's have more skill. I wasn't really taking into the equation on how many people that uh, uh, Bandita could hold because she's already holding Gertruda. So well, right, because yeah, that's can a jump medium. On her, and then I can jump on so, Fuzzball, who also has 50 yeah, feet of movement. Because you're so but, small, Fuzzball size medium, that'll work, which means uh, Fuzzball Bandita, has 40, who's though. large. Yeah, Fuzzball that's fine. aren't very fast. And they're barely faster than me. 40 is still faster than 30. Thank you very much. You yeah, guys, it's way faster than 25. It is time, it is time for exit stage let's, left. Let's just run yeah. out of here. Let's just not work with the mouse. Yeah, it's just too much time. Let's go. We got to go. Just I run. Just run. Jump on the mounts. Go. Because, okay. like, honestly, it's a better idea for us. Like, it's going to increase our speed. Trump, Trump, I Trump, get it. Trump, Trump, it Trump. doesn't seem like a lot. 
But if Elizabetta gets on top of, uh, of fucking spot, you jump on mm-hmm. top of Bandita and I jump on top of Fuzzball, we're going to get out of here way faster. Because I only have 25 sure. movement, guys. Yeah. You should definitely get on a mount. Yeah, you should be on a mount. Yeah, so one way or the other, I'm jumping on top of Fuzzball, and I'm like, sorry, mm-hmm. right, but I'm back again there, girl. Hey, you didn't. Just scratching her behind the ears. <laughs> Fuzzball doesn't mind. Fuzzball's. And then I shouted everyone's head. I was like, it's time to fucking go. This map does not look right. right. We run. Where the hell are we? We're out front. I'm working on it. This is the out front map? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderbuster's like, ah, I can't find it. Oh, God. I swear, honestly, we weren't rushing. This is not, the, the, this is us not rushing. You see? See? We're not rushing. This is us getting the fuck out of Dodge. Hopefully the drawbridge is still down. I don't know. That depends on whether or not this is the front of the castle or not. I have a piece of cloth that's tied on one of my wrists. And I'm readying it. Uh, It has a loop on the other hand and I'm readying it in case I need to put my other hand through it. And if I do, uh, then I will be able to cast Beast Sense while I'm on top of Fuzzball. And the reason I have the cloth is because I will pass out. (laughs) <laughs> so I don't want to fall off a of puzzle. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So I just have the cloth there, and I'm like gonna tie it on both of my hands. So like, if I do pass out, I like stay on her back, but I'll be able to see through her eyes and use her senses. This is how you take the stage. I think I got it. Okay. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of tokens to Okay. <laughs> so. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Sorry. Sick. Dope. I was going to have one suggestion, but it's fine. We can just pretend it's the other way. I should be Rifter Truda. Because I can move stuff around. Oh, true. So yeah, yeah uh, Haley jump on spot and then yeah, I'll uh, be on. You yeah. jump Bandita. on Bandita. Because you yeah, could actually, Fuzz- if it comes down to it, and we're going across that bridge and shit happens, you could literally just grab up Gertruda and just yep. start running down the wall. <laughs> I've yeah. got claws. I uh, they're they're freshly sharpened claws. Yeah, I have the the cloth tied with the loop in it, but then I also have my bow ready because, like, mm-hmm. I don't need to, I don't need to do anything yet. I'm super ready to shoot off wolf back if I need to. You guys can all make a perception check for me as you're pulling balls out of the castle. Please be stop. Come on! I literally rolled my passive perception. Yeah, I rolled mine as well. Uh, uh, oh no, I rolled a little bit better than mine. I got 16. Yay! Yeah. I need a plus you 5 and a plus passive 3. Perception. I rolled under my passive perception. How bad is that? I wish it was investigation. I would have just taken my 18. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, as you guys pass through the portacollis that leads you out on the drawbridge, a uh, green slime falls on top of you. Oh, fuck. The what? <laughs> None of oh, us see we- it? Negative. Oh, it was a, it, did none of us see that? It's a DC 20 is what it said. <laughs> Damn! Oh. That's a sneaky oh. ass slime. That's that's oh shit! We're about to be put in a gelatinous cube, aren't we? Oh, fuck. No, it's too small for that. If it's, if, if it says it just goes. So, uh, you guys can. What does it land on? I'll make a DC ten deck save. And I'll make one for Gertruda. 
deck save. That's correct. Oh, fuck. Wow. So, uh, so you guys all saved. So you guys are flying so fast out of this castle <laughs> that you just, as the, the slime kind of drips down to fall, you guys just fly right past it. <laughs> and, uh... Sorry, I didn't do my deck save, but there it is. Okay, yeah, you, you passed. Uh, uh... Yeah, so it lands on the ground behind you and it just starts to like melt the ground below as you guys Ooh. continue on out of the drawbridge and back into back talking into everyone's mind. Oh, that was fucking close. I mean to you guys, not to me, but that was fucking close. <laughs> I just pictured that I saw it coming like as it was like drooping down off the thing. And I like spoke in Fuzzball's mind. I'd be like, all right, up off the pillar there and then onto the edge of the thing and then back down onto the path. And then just like she just jumps perfectly through like the uh, the track of it going down and be like, yeah, that's a good girl. Oh, yeah, I nailed uh it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys are outside of, uh, of Ravenloft. You made it. <laughs> what? Uh, where do you guys head to from here? Right back to Velaki, I hope. Beeline to Velaki, because I promised yeah. her that if she didn't want to go back to her mom's, that she wouldn't have to, and she said she didn't, so she's coming back home with us. Hey, uh, we're going to have a maid in our mansion, guys! And she's a maid already, so it's perfect. Like, many, look, you can... <laughs> if she God. wants to be. How many hours is it to, to Velaki? <clears throat> it's normally, like, a good six hours or so, but you guys are traveling at pretty much double speed right now, so like about three hours away. Yeah, this isn't. Yeah, this isn't a gentle yeah. horse ride. This is a pretty fast pace. Spot is going to be just. Lives. You yeah, Spot is going to be like dead tired by the time we get. There. You guys are also traveling in the middle of nighttime too. Oh boy, is it really that Eight late? Because we left. Yeah, uh, we left at night. <laughs> yeah. We left at night already. Like, this was when we were supposed to be we're, going. No, to no, 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 no. This is middle no, no, no. of the night. We did not yeah, leave yeah, at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like noon when we left to get there. And it was no, like, no, no, no. We went to a no. dinner. And it's then night. He said that you can stay here for the night, which it was already night when he offered us rooms. So yes. it's definitely in the middle of the night right now. Yeah. I don't know about middle of the night. I mean, just, you know, I'm thinking like, Sun just went down, kind it's of. Like night. Midnight. Not, no, not it's way. like midnight at the very yeah. earliest. It's middle of the I'm night. More along lines of like six or eight. Yeah, but this is also after multiple interactions during what was already past nighttime. Yeah, a, a lot of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 You guys managed to make it uh, the the three hours or so of travel. It's very very early in the morning, like. Like not even quite sunrise yet, as you guys are at the gates of Velaki right now. And with that, uh, it's already uh, ten o'clock my time, eight o'clock y'all's time. So I think we're gonna call it there for the night. <laughs> Look at that timing! All right, yeah, Ooh, perfect timing and to the to the minute. I was to about to say, minute. like literally, it just turned eight o'clock. Yeah, uh, like, that was <laughs> the perfect go. timing. Like we got an hour till my in. session starts. That's perfect because I got a perfect go time. Oh my god, <laughs> that was a crazy session. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that was man. a crazy started off with session, some casual dude. exploration that led to some oh, combat that led to man. some social interaction, which led to some <laughs> bad uh, interaction. That's what I was hoping well, for. I am. I was uh, not expecting that at all. When you were like, <laughs> and you see someone that looks exactly like Sarah, I was like, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thought that went through my head. And then I was like, okay, how am I going to play this off? Oh, like, God. oh shit. That's supposed how to... would yep. somebody handle it if their wife that they've been searching for for the last 20 years just is there? 
And yeah. so I feel like I handled it great. And then you saying like she doesn't feel right, I was like, oh, that that's a mad motherfucker right there. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's the most angry person that you could create. And he's already an angry person. Like it wasn't yes. like he was chill to begin with. Like <laughs> I figured that was Haley. A- okay. The voice of reason. <laughs> Haley, the voice of reason. No, Sparkins, don't do this. You I was actually gonna get talking with Muff earlier, and I, I told him I was just like one of the only people in the groups that can get me to not do what I'm trying to do is Haley because she, you, your character is exactly what my wife did in mm-hmm. our group before. Ah. We were hunters, like we we hunted bounties, yeah. And I was the close up person, and she was mm-hmm. always my ranged archer, and I always trusted her never to hit me. So this whole time we've been fighting together, and you've been mm-hmm. shooting over my shoulder. And so, like, she was always the voice of reason. I was always the, nah, fuck it, let's kill them all. And then she would always be like, no, we don't need to kill them all. So that's why I was like, I like Haley. She <laughs> she reminds me of my, the love of my life. Yeah, like, I'm, like, I've fallen in love with your character, but I like your style. You know uh, what I'm yes. saying? So, I'm, like, I'm she's just, just like, oh, yeah, I like that. And then I like <laughs> Elizabetta because she embodies the other part of my wife, which was the strategic planning, the, her personal attitude, her ability to like get along with people when I've always been that gruff asshole in the corner. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, for my character? Uh, I'm for shipping hail broken right now. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hail Everybody's broken! Over. The dream couple. <laughs> So yeah, my whole goal God, with that was babies would be so ugly. <laughs> the whole goal with that session was to make this supposed to be like the most memorable part of the campaign, like one of them. So I was hoping I could throw some zingers in there to really get you guys. Yeah, that 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 blew me <laughs> off my fucking seat with that one. Like I literally was just like, "What the fuck am I gonna do with that?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what the idea yeah, was. Yeah, I. I thought it was a bad yeah. case of some fool's about to die. That's what I heard. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 100%. That's, that, that's, like, that's the only like, thing that went through my head. Like, oh, some fool's about to die. Yep, yep. It was yep. like the flashing in his eyes where he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, RC's already encountered one of his so- so-called quote-unquote jokes. And I'm like, oh, he thinks he's funny. He thinks he's funny. And which Haley responds to that so-called quote, RC responding, saying, oh, he's making a funny to, no, RC, that wasn't funny. This is something you don't make fun of. Like, you do not make fun of somebody like that, dead wife. And like, no. Like, now Haley's like, now I'm going to have to teach RC about the rules when it comes to what is a joke and what is not. <laughs> Gotta teach him basic human etiquette because he's a goddamn robot. Like, yep. Yep. <laughs> yes. Well, according to a fellow up. officer, they thought that uh, him doing something at the last social interaction that his uh, superior ordered him never to go to any other uh, social interaction ever been to was a joke, despite the fact that Mayor's wife didn't really take this as a joke. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason yeah. why the mayor ordered him out of town to allow somebody's temper to. Chill. Settle before he comes back. Yeah, though I do, I do like the touch of uh, Talon's name being put in there, because like Haley loves and resents her father, but she does feel guilt for his death. So it's like seeing that just set her all which ways of emotions. I so had no idea if you guys were actually going to go into that that part or not. I was like. Please, please go this way. <laughs> hey, this is <laughs> perfect. Cool, it's weird, just like, it's not <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, Morkin's whole like, you know, like, rah, 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 and get the maid. I was like, uh, okay, okay. No, I'm like, technically, we're taking like, something from Strahd. Strahd's not going to appreciate this. Nope. But exactly. then again, like it went from okay, uh, you guys won't let me kill him. Well, we're taking something from him. Like, uh, like we're not leaving here empty-handed. Like he's gotta hurt after we leave here. He's gotta I mean, be mad. 
the, yeah. the coolest thing about tonight, I think, is uh, I mean, obviously, it's really cool moments and everything, but like, we started Christmas Drive now. There's no more like shopping trips and like animal taming, like, <laughs> we're in it. Like, oh no, yeah. we're now 100%. Now 100%. We gotta like, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, wait a minute. Bob, I have a very now. important like, question. There's no, there's no more any like, this isn't like, oh, he might be a bad guy or whatever. Now it's 100% like, we put ourselves against Strahd. Oh, well, but now it's that we knew he was a bad guy, but like, we had time that he wasn't actively trying to get us. Oh, he's like, good trying to stop us. But he's now it's like, now. we. Vote him. Absolutely. Probably have. I mean, actually, Oak losing a May might just be annoying, but we'll see how he reacts. You know, I mean, he's he supposedly lost a lot of emotion over the years, so he may be like, I've lost a maid. How irritating. I'll have to find another. Um, there is a. I'll be more mad if he's not mad than if he was mad. There is something that may happen. Versus of what I what I DM'd Muff about. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so so yeah. I, I I have an important question. Very important. Critical. Crucial. Okay. All right. Did we level up? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, there's a log fucking back in now and take care of that. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. 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 Oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I gotta it's fine. I got the log back in. Oh this shit! Is, this is totally why I have a bookmark cool. onto Haley's character sheet. So I've, all I have to do is click a button. I have my characters all bookmarked. Yeah, I don't uh, have my characters bookmarked, but I have the uh, the site bookmark. I'm in my I have my character selection bookmarks. I have like 75 mm -hmm. characters, but prepare for yeah, a have, long uh, recap, guys. <laughs> oh god! Oh shit! <laughs> it would be quite the recap. There was a lot that went down that session. I was gonna we say, I I think we've all done a lot. We honestly, we didn't move at all that session. Like no. we didn't go anywhere, but there was so much that happened. Hell yeah! <laughs> the other cool thing too, which I think is gonna be nice, is that we don't have to worry about arena. Yeah. I kind of oh, yeah. also like really like that session because like there's a lot of things I was thinking about interjecting in and I was like I'm just gonna see how what happens and you guys like so the the kind of the goal there was to like sow discord between all of you a little bit and it totally worked you guys were all like really angry at each other at one point but you guys all ended up working it out organically and I was like that is beautiful <laughs> worked perfectly good job yeah. with that guys. <laughs> We're a good group. I love it. I love this. This is awesome. Well, it's a good... Yeah, this is working uh, so well. So well. It's a good mixture of personalities, and I think everyone's playing it right. Oh, yeah. Of, like, uh... It, I, 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 honestly, I should expect Borkin to show somebody. Like, you know, that's gonna <laughs> happen. <laughs> so. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I got a question. <laughs> okay. Does Spot level up? <laughs> Um, I'll get back to you on that. I'll have to figure out how okay. that works. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, I have a new favorite foe, by the way, or favorite enemy. I'm picking undead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, because I have fiends, and I have a, and now I can pick a second one, which I knew was gonna come up, and now I'm picking undead. So it's like, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm adding a pet to the party. Oh, oh yay! Hell what yeah! Is I did the like the critical feature of my entire build. It's my shadow. Oh, heck yeah! That is awesome. The one that I nearly won that one shot by myself with when Elizabeth was first born. Oh man, this is. A... I think Vody was there for that. <laughs> so curious how that's going to go down in the fight against Shroud. <laughs> I'll leave it oh, at that. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. It's so fucking strong. <laughs> yeah. Tasha's Tasha's added so such good summons to the game. It's insane. Oh yeah. I multi-classed into Druid. I couldn't resist. The the best thing, by the way, about my, my shadow is it has advantage against anything that's frightened. So it just builds off my frightened ability. Oh, that's awesome. Hits for a fucking D twelve. 
has 50 hit points. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's that's almost like a, a, shadow, is it a shadow spawn. Is that what it is? Uh, I'll post a picture of it in the Discord. All right. Yeah, those, those things are pretty sweet, though. My brother played with that in one of his campaigns. And the so summons good. are so good. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I got to get off here. I'm going to eat something before I start the, the next game. And uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. That was I'm a really good session. I'm going to give a leveling henchman because he's a, technically a henchman. So I'm going to use the Tasha henchman. It makes sense. <laughs> that oh, was nice. my we favorite didn't... session, hands down. Although I will say, I was super mad at you for about 45 seconds. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I was just like, oh no, fuck you, homie. This is the fucked up shit. Like, like, why the fuck would you be like, oh, this is a good story? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if you were around. I mean, the last time we played Lucrative Quest, it's been a minute. But we played this campaign for two years. Two fucking years. My character's been looking for his wife. The first time Randy mentions my wife, is she tells me that she's dying. I totally saw that. That was pretty epic. <laughs> oh, boy. That's where I got the idea oh. for Borky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, like, I see where you fucking came from, you asshole. I, I, like, like, I, just, I, don't I, want I still alive. don't know what I'm going to do about that. It's good. It's good shit. Hell yeah. And... No, yeah, this was a great session. Thanks for running it, man. That was yes. thank you. Thank you guys oh, for playing. Just, just one dip for us. All right. Hopefully, the next one is uh, even better. <laughs> so, oh god, it's but. panic mode now. It's like shit, shit, okay. Meal. Oh yeah. Uh, this, shit it, just I'm gonna have to go into super it's crafter mode for really? sure because we need to sanctify our own house so that it technically counts as ours, so that nobody else can come in uninvited. This is the absolute most things I've seen done in only three areas of this huge map. <laughs> so, go to I mean, too. <laughs> when you got some deep thinkers, though, in case of more kind of, I don't know about, I, I don't know about <laughs> I like thinking. But, I'm right. a deep thinker. I'm playing an idiot character. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all good. But, all right, guys, I'm going to shut this stream down. Thank you, everyone, for watching. That was a really awesome session. Oh, God, we're still on stream? Yeah, I totally are. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought we were on the stream. Thanks, everybody, for dealing with the bullshit. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, baby. <laughs> all right, we'll catch everyone next Those Wednesday. poor, poor people. <laughs>